We're not live yet, are we? Oh, we're, we're pretty much going live now. I just hit audio to go live because they have been looking at the logo for four minutes while I've been trying to get the URLs posted to all different places. Okay, well, I'm here. So. You're here? All right. I guess we're here. Do, we, do we want to go ahead start. and start this? We should. Okay, okay. Do we, do we, uh, let's see, let's we'll do a thing. Ah, oh, it's so cold. It's so cold? It is freezing. It is freezing. I just complain about the cold. It's good. You can complain about the cold because I know you're cold. Yeah. I see it's my steam. Cold. I don't think right. the camera can, but. I don't know. It might. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. Uh, well, it, I, as I look over here at the control panel, which I don't typically do, but I try to, uh, we, we have bars bouncing, so I assume people can hear us. I hope people can hear us. And hello, it's Monday, and I, we're back. How's it going? Oh, good to hear. So, uh, welcome to the uh, the Monday Odin Makes live stream. Uh, today, I'm here, and my name is Odin. Hi, I'm Felicia. And we're going to, well, try to entertain you guys for the next couple of hours uh, while we talk about patterns, maybe talk about the con a little bit yesterday, and hopefully get some, some something further accomplished with the build of the Broton Pack. <laughs> I know, we have so many pieces still to still cut out. to get out, right. Like, we're not even a quarter into the video. <laughs> No, we're not even a quarter way into the video. Uh, we're about halfway, I think, into the numbered pieces, aren't we? Because we're almost to 30. There's 60 pieces. I know. Like, uh, there's a lot of circles. I figured maybe I should bring out the circle cutter and just start cutting a bunch of circles today. <laughs> Actually, that's why I brought these patterns, because I need a circle cutter. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, one that's about that big. A oh. nickel size. A nickel size. Oh, okay. Specifically-ish. Okay. <laughs> sure. Well, I've got... We've got a train! No train cam. No train cam. I haven't it's set a train cold for cam. That, it's yeah. always way too cold for that. I haven't set that up in a while. I've got a couple of different circle cutters because I've got um, I've got the cookie cutter set that M Savage had on his show. I've got uh, another little leather cutting set and another set of, uh, of punchers plus the the cos tool set and then I got the cos tool spinny thingy. Lucky. So you, you got choices when it comes to cutting circles, <laughs> or or you know you can always just go for it. <laughs> I don't have to because you have all the special tools. <laughs> all right, it's fine. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, Moon Eyes 2K is here laughing away. Yay, stream! Eric Gordon. Miss Ray Mac is singing out with a hello. Well, hello. I look at how he's using this recently. It's actually, it's actually being used. Oh, that's awesome. I took mine to the cons. I still haven't used it because I'm not a big note taker. There's a lot of math that I end up doing over and over and over and over and again. Uh huh. It's like, I feel like at this point, there should be a program I could write that could just do my job, but, uh. You could? <laughs> <laughs> but I find myself doing the same math problems over and over again. All right. Because people are similar shaped, but completely different shaped. Right, everyone's kind of roughly person shaped. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Bone structures. Right. Yeah. So there's a lot of circle maths and regular maths and like dividing things in halves, quarters, sections and Right. Adding ease and taking off ease, so I was like, oh I kinda remember that. Yeah. <laughs> so I was using this. Okay. It was coming in handy, so thank you very much, Miss Barry Mac. Didn't she send that? Yes, she did. Yeah. Yes. I remember. Thank you. And also I saw on Discord that uh, Jerry Rig Props got his Christmas card finally from Miss Mary Mac. Oh, that nice. the Irish post is 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 is, is Lightning quick. It's just it's just the times where everything takes a while to get across the pond. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, I'm not talking crap. We've had no. our own fair share of issues. <laughs> no, don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, Jerry Rig is here as well. Hello, everyone. Hello, Jerry Rig. <laughs> uh, Gig Gigaman Prime, one of our newer members. Says, uh, happy Monday, Odin and Felicia. It's, it's too cold for me right now, too. Happy yeah. Monday. So the, the entire studio has been off and, and, and dark all day yesterday and the majority of Saturday, uh, including the heaters and whatnot. So it's as cold as it can pretty much get within the studio. Uh, and, and it is, there are places where water freezes and, and everyone wants to claim that they're colder because they're you know in carbonite or, or solid ice. But as far as in the Sacramento Valley, it doesn't get much, much colder than in my office and, and in my studio because there's no 
the sun doesn't warm up the walls of the building here at all. I've got a north facing wall, and uh, so the sun doesn't even help. <laughs> in this here. reminds me of one of those like walk in freezers at like Costco. Yeah. It's like that cold. Right. <laughs> okay, I might be exaggerating, but I didn't complain. Right. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> I hate being cold. I never want to move when it's cold in the mornings, like when I get into work. Uh huh. I like don't want to move my hands. I'm like, not till the heater goes off. Right. Uh, Just, yes. Yes. So. Um. I won't complain if it's hot though. Okay. There you go. Good. <laughs> uh, Iana says, "Yay! I haven't missed the stream." Um. Hi, Odin and Felicia. How are you both doing? It's cold. <laughs> Other than that, pretty good. It's yeah. But it's not too bad. But it's it's cold. It, it is absolutely noticeably cold. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Oh, is our resolution wonky? Ah, uh, well, all right. Can I? What? Can I change that while we're while we're live? Do we have the wrong resolution? Of course we do. Nope, you can't do it live. Are we still live? You have to click it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I do not understand why it is required to be clicked twice. Now, are we still actually live? There. Okay. Okay. I do the yes, good. We are still running live. So, does it look better, people? Um, yes. The honor list is all good now. Excellent. I'm really glad that I did learn that you can, I can... Um, do it without completely starting over? With, you're right. The interface for the black magic thing, I have to go off air, but that doesn't necessarily turn off the stream from YouTube. So that I turn off the black magic interface and I can actually change the stream to high, to high but of course I can't just click it once. You gotta click it twice because you gotta warm up black magic. It's like, okay, I'm gonna click it. And it goes, are you sure? Oh, okay. <laughs> What'd you, you want click me to it do? again. <laughs> yeah, are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was rushing to come down and get things put together. I'll, I'll be honest, I, I, I was. Uh, Upstairs in my office, just just dragging, going. Oh boy, is is. Oh, uh, I had a con yesterday. I'm terrible. What time is it? Oh, it's ten forty-five. I better get going and turn the lights on. <laughs> so yeah, I forgot that step. I made it. You made it. You're here. <laughs> yep. So we have a lots of bits and pieces to finish up. We have lots of bits and pieces to finish up. Lots of bits and pieces. Lots of circles. Lots of yes. I would actually be very happy to sit down with. Uh, the the cause tool circle cutter and, and just, just measure the circles and the just circles. just start cutting circles because that's a lovely mindless thing I can just do and and, and maybe talk a little bit over get it. all the pieces finished cutting yeah out. then we could put the puzzle together pretty much yeah yeah now I did I did use so uh, we've got a couple of boxes we set aside for project boxes these are going to be big enough that the proton pack will fit in it. I did use one to move my project that I was working on Saturday off the table for this upcoming Wednesday's video. So is it double deckered or is it just moved to one box? It's all just in one box right okay. now. So, so yeah, it's just a bunch of pieces still. So, right. <laughs> yeah, we're not gluing anything together, doing anything yet, sort of. So we have some of the pieces glued. We do. We got the the boxes that have the hallway, whatever that was called. The <laughs> that part. <laughs> the crankshaft box. Uh, yeah, was that the crank? Crank generator box? Crank generator box. I don't know. Like, how do you, what do you need to generate to scoop up with this ghost, you know? Like, how? what's their download speed? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know these things, but I feel like somebody's I, done the math, especially if they use those cables. <laughs> I do believe a couple of people have done the math. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, amount of, the amount of power and whatnot that's being put out, and, and they do talk about the amount of power, I think, mm -hmm. that the containment system requires. But um, Yeah. Yeah. We should try turning it off, right? Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try turning it off and on again. Tell them about the Twinkie. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. So, let's see. Mm, so, what are people saying? Go right ahead. Oh, I Check did. on people and see what they were saying. Somebody said, A&W root beer. Oh, yeah. Shh. Sorry. I didn't greet Don't that. Don't take root beer. <laughs> <laughs> didn't greet that yet. That's but, fine. Mm, okay. Strict Aphid says, hey, me and my mom are watching y'all during school. Ooh, oh, I'm nice. I'm telling. No. <laughs> Excellent. Leia Jones. Hello. Hello, Leia Jones. Hello back to you, Leia Jones. Um...
bit above that. Here, I'll trade you sides if you like. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Let me just go put this away. Okay. I'm going to cut circles into these, though. Whichever, yeah. You if, you, if you want to work on that project, you can. I made an envelope. Were you here oh, for that? Oh, cool. <laughs> no, I left. Okay. I saw you starting it, but I didn't. Oh, okay. You didn't stick around. Mm -mm. No. It's a big envelope. Pretty sure Roden can handle that. I'm out of here. No, I have responsibilities after yes. this stream yes, on Mondays. You do. Yes. So Don't we, lose do we, the circles. I won't. That's what I'm after today. <laughs> so, uh, so, do we have a hard out at 2 o'clock today? No, not today. Okay. Still, we need to get in the practice of that. Because, yeah. Yeah, because we will. All right. All right. Numbers. This is 50, 59, 60. Let's go this way. Probably not going to see a whole lot, but we can do this, and we can do that. Hmm. Then we got some pieces. So how many circles are we playing with? We have, okay, circle pieces. And then also it's a game of, is this the number or is it the circle? No. Oh, right. Well, no, those... Uh, yeah, I know. He did do number. the bold numbers, but... Yeah, he has a really good pattern. Yeah, no, I'm quite impressed that I haven't had to brain yet, and it all makes sense. Mm-hmm. Because not every pattern like is like that. Right. There's a lot of patterns that yeah do not make yeah that don't make so those are technically circles even though they're rings which is a circle inside of a circle right I know and then there's these circles that are gonna be on this piece right well, let's but cut that we're piece out. yeah we're gonna do yeah so I'm not worried about that I was, I was more thinking about all yeah. these little guys here some of which are fun like this one's got a circle within a circle mm-hmm so that's the crank knob yeah you know, the crank knob all right. Got to find all the circle cutters that match up with the circles. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm thinking a lot of it's just going to be the cause tools, circle cutter, spinny thing. It's going to be a lot of um, measuring it and then trying it, making sure I'm cutting what I want, and then cut the number that I need. And I got to pay attention to the thicknesses because I've got uh, I got ones like uh, yeah, I'm pretty much on screen. Good. The, the six millimeter thick, six millimeter thick, uh, two millimeter thick, six millimeter, two millimeter. <laughs> Yeah, and then we'll do Cut one from two and cut two from six. <laughs> and then just to add one little layer of complication. I gotta double everything. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And Meh. then while you're doubling things, you have to make sure am I doubling it because it says cut two, so am I cutting four? Math. <laughs> yeah, turn your brain off. Uh-huh, no. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There you go. I can switch. Yeah, did it. I want I want this. Okay. <laughs> And I'm going to move this a little bit, even though it might be in screen, because it's a little too convenient for me to grab. <laughs> oh, hey, is that here? Who's here? No, a thing. Uh, an object. Uh... What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no worries. I was reading comments. Okay. Yeah. Yonalith Lightbringer says, I need help. I really want to make my own custom Jedi robes, but with the Star Wars... The Old Republic. Any suggestions to where I could get templates? <clears throat> I've run into that problem many times myself. Right. I've just ended up making myself from scratch, but I win no templates. Um. And I know a lot of people cheat. What? Just buy keys and or. You can, like, instead of doing the actual rope layers, they just do the... Well, that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just layered, like, folds over it and then, yeah. then put something over the top of that. Because you cut down the amount of fabric and... Yeah, no. Yeah. So it's like, how realistic do you want to go? Do you want right. to go... Com yeah, so... There's a lot of... <laughs> right. And there is, there is a benefit to cheating like that, where you're basically making... Uh, a specialized front that only has enough fabric to make it look right, you're not bulking up everywhere else on you. So if you're actually going to be active as a Jedi and not just standing around and looking stoic, uh, you're not having four layers of monk cloth. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> um, there's like the costume, the costume, and the costume. <laughs> so which costume do you want to do? Right? There's a, a number of lightsaber clubs. There's a number of uh, people... Um, you, you have the 501st, which are the uh, Imperial Garrison that actually do the full Imperial Garb, and usually there's Tusken Raiders and and and, uh, and Bounty Hunters, you know, the, the Mandalorians that'll kind of associate with those guys. Well, there's a whole rebel faction as well of, of people that do this. I 
don't know a specific name. The 501st is easy because they've got like this number name that I just know. Um, the, the, the rebel group that, that, that's like a, a tangent version of this, they should have patterns. Um, so Replica Prop Forum is probably one of the first best places to look. It's a Replica Prop Forum. And you should be able to do a search for Jedi Rope patterns. Someone's probably got one in there. Um, Etsy's going to be hit and miss if you don't know who you're looking at. Or what you're looking specifically for. Or what you're looking specifically for. Because if you know what kind of robe you're looking for, you can look for that kind of robe pattern and then right. layer accordingly. But again, yeah, it's so much what do you know and what do you need to know. <laughs> but uh, uh, the one that I made for Brittany for Beyond Geek, because we did an episode of Beyond Geek oh, a couple of years ago now, where right. she joined lightsaber teams and she, she made, built her own replica lightsaber. Hey, you can see that video over on the Beyond Geek channel. Um, the robe that I made for her was super simple. Um, basically, I think it was a big Y. I think uh, it had a, a tail in the back that came up and then joined. So she had the, the shoulder wrap that came over and then it just wrapped. But it was flat pieces that were hemmed on the sides. Everything in the front was the same. It was just a strap that had a strap that went over it, that had a strap that went over it, that had a strap that went over it. And I think it was sewn together so it kind of stayed. Yeah. Uh, and then it was just kind of a, a wrap around her middle, and I don't remember what I did for sleeves. I think I made her sleeves. Yeah, I think you did. <clears throat> but it was it was but they were like very kimono pieced sleeves, together. just very yeah, very straight. Yeah, because we used the extra scraps to make the Leia poncho. Yes, I remember that, and we also had a whole bag at Smosh of just Star Wars bits and pieces, so we could layer robes and make right. different versions of characters and. In an attempt to get a fabric that yeah. I like the texture of for being a Star Wars fabric, uh, I ended up using actually upholstery cloth that I picked up at, from a discount bin. Yeah, you want the nice, yeah, the, the, the kind coarse of funky textures. coarse, yeah, yeah, with all the slubs in the fabric. And then I believe she pretty much wore yoga pants with it. Yes, yeah. why not? And then with with boots, it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got to do like what if the Star Wars. Uh -huh. And we did like the 40 Star Wars right. and all the different versions of Star Wars. That was one of my more favorite episodes. That was a fun one. I really got to play and that one was too much fun. And we did mix all those different looks. Mm -hmm. I, I remember doing the set for that. We had to do a, um, an Imperial set for the uh, Luke versus Vader lightsaber fight. And mm -hmm. getting to cut out all those panels with those oblong pill shapes where it's like, okay, we got a three inch hole and a three inch hole, and then we got to connect the holes and not have them off set so they're not crooked because we're making a whole bunch of these. Yeah, that was fun. In all reality, <laughs> the Star Wars episodes were my favorite because yeah. we did a couple, like at Star Wars Dating, I think. That sounds. Like, sounds right. Britney was like this whole on alien makeup thing that was okay. crazy. Like she wore it all day. <laughs> She's a trooper. Yeah, no, she really is. Yeah, she really she is. Really is. Maybe not, you know, an imperial trooper, but she's a trooper. <laughs> right? But that was... Yeah, no, I really enjoyed yeah. it. So we definitely had a lot of Star Wars stuff, but it is a lot of mishmash. <laughs> Old military stuff with... <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Whatever's going to work. Yeah, getting good texture. I think it's more in the fabric, honestly. If you get the right kind of fabric looks and feels. Yeah, because the... the it is the majority of the robe type outfits that Tatooine and Jedi seem to wear is the texture. Because mm -hmm. it's otherwise it's, it's fashionable bathrobes. I am totally down for fashionable bathrobes. That's <laughs> half the things that I own. <laughs> you laugh, but I'm not joking. I, <laughs> I am laughing because it's funny, but um, yeah, I'm sure you're serious. <laughs> Uh, Moon Nice 2K says the Proton packs are powered by Curium. I want to say that right because I believe it's named after Madame Curium. Curium 246, and this is the center of a new. Sorry, this is. I can't read the whole sentence as I'm moving stuff around on here. <laughs> Nuclear accelerator producing about 1.5 megawatts. Yes, they are actual calculations. I knew it. Oh, I'm sure there is. <laughs> yeah. Can download a ghost. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Download a ghost. Um, I got to do last minute again yesterday. So I was at Stockton Con yesterday, single day con in Stockton, California, in the Stockton Arena. And of course, uh, at the con for about two hours. When when uh, 
First of all, I'm not officially uh, cosplay repair at Stockton Con, but that doesn't stop people who know me from, from walking up. Odin, I got a problem. Hey, somebody who has knowledge <laughs> and I need help. So I've got a really good uh, Deku cosplayer that came up to me. Uh, Deku from My, My Hero Academia, right? And he's got his full bunny suit uh, outfit that he wears. It's very early on when Deku's, Deku's first costume, he's actually got that like angry, almost Johnny Darko uh, bunny face with the big ears. He hardly ever wears it. But he has it in the very, very beginning. Yeah, I have to see a reference photo. Sure. This is one of those things that I can't do off of memory. But... So, so he's, he's got that, he's got all the pouches, he's got the gloves, he's got like the torn yellow cape, he's got everything that Deku had that he started with, because he, he starts losing stuff, because it's impractical to wear all that crap, right? Even though he's a cartoon. Um, his eyes broke on, on his mask, because his eyes are supposed to be glowing green. So he comes up and says, I need help with this. The negative lead broke off the 9-volt battery. And it's inside of the actual manufactured piece. He's got this 9-volt clip that, that's got a 4-millimeter connector that goes to the rest of the mask. Now I'm just imagining a dangling wire with like an arcing bolt <laughs> around your eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm imagining. That'd be great! No, it wouldn't. that would suck. Um, <laughs> I didn't have my soldering kit or anything. So we get in there and I'm looking at the 9-volt connector and it's, it's a hard plastic piece. I can pop the top off. And um, Paper I clip start, duct tape? almost start stripping wires <laughs> to get uh, to get uh, slack, and I end up feeding a, a stripped wire through the hole of the negative connector and pinching it between the battery and the nine volt connector because I couldn't solder it. But that you know that. Actually, so while I'm doing all this, somebody from the con, hey, the point, came up to me and said, "Hey, Odin, um, when, when you're done fixing Deku, are, are you? Uh, would you willing to, to judge the cosplay contest again?" <laughs> So I got to go do that, and I sat next to a 916 Ghostbuster the entire time. <laughs> so, so you had a great time at the con. I had a great time at the con. And the other judge, um, she was dressed as Black Cat, but she was the uh, the grand prize winner from Sack Anime. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that was really cool. It was really fun to get to hang out with them. And the Stockton Con um, had 28 contestants, again, which is about the same number that Sack Anime had, but... Um, the way they ran theirs, it was a lot faster. And uh, and thankfully, when we... They know what they're doing. They've done it before. Yeah. Oh, they're just trying to keep it really keep keep it really going. No one gets a chance to do a skit. No one gets a oh, chance okay. to... Oh, okay. So let's just keep up the pace. So yeah, we keep up the pace. Okay. Right. And and um, that was fun. That was, was excellent. The the grand prize winner, the... the, the so Deku didn't play, so I'm sorry, Deku. Um, you couldn't get your battery to get... No, that's not it. <laughs> Maybe if he did electrocute his eyeball. <laughs> <No. laughs> um, the grand prize winner was a woman who did an alien queen. An Elizabethan queen. The full dress uh, with was all this black lace and the big big bell bottom, right? And she had the little alien queen arms in the front. She held the back spike. She made a big paper mache head. She had a paper mache tail that came up and curled around her dress to the front. It was really freaking cool. I love this. Yeah. And she was really freaking cool, I think. Actually, I'm so happy that there are places for these things to be appreciated. I'm just saying, as a costumer, just you know, the fact that people make these <laughs> there are and then get to here. wear them out to the ball, you know? Right. It's a Reynosa cosplay. <laughs> I actually have her card on me still. <laughs> oh, and other personal information. <laughs> right. Well, that's not on camera. Oh, okay. Well, you you said it to camera one, so we're okay. We're okay. Yeah. Camera two? Yes. One of these days I'll remember how it works when it's not a mirror. But uh, this is the person, uh, Reynosa Cosplay. She was the one that did the alien, the Elizabethan alien queen, Her Majesty the Queen. And um, yeah, quick and easy way to see what her cosplay is. She's been working on it for like a year and a half. What I thought was cool, you know, being a, a big foam guy, is that it was mostly paper mache. Which is like, oh. yeah. and she did great with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's one of those easily accessible mediums. It is. It Anybody can enter. Yeah. You know? Right. I remember as a kid making plenty of weird paper mache projects, like <laughs> giraffes and... Right. I wanted to make huge Won't be things that were supposed to be dinosaurs? Or was that just me? <laughs> I did giraffes and okay. not quite dinosaurs i did um the classic um donkey the donkey the donkey you know right made men a lot of weird 
paper mache pinatas. Yep. We had one at Smosh. We had the the, the 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 one Pokemon, whatever it was. It hardens. Oh. Um, uh, right, it hardens. Uh, should know. I made out with it. <laughs> Um, right, right, what right. What is its name? Metapod. Metapod, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots of weird projects. Paper mache is a great entry level, and you yeah. can take it to much crazier levels. Yes, you can. You can be super artsy with it. Mm-hmm. And, and she was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I appreciate that. But it was it was nice that she was universal between the three of us. Like, okay, so uh, first place, we all go queen. <laughs> right? All right, that one's easy. <laughs> no, when it's obvious, it's obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then uh, the second place and third place actually had a little more of because uh, it was only first, second, and third place, and then top top child. That was it. That was mm-hmm. that was all the categories. Make it easy. Yeah, um, second, third place was a little tougher because um, yet again you have a lot of really good cosplays, but we're looking at um, once they're really good, then you're going down to how much effort, energy, and are your f- edges finished? And right. How many it... different mediums are mashed into the same cosplay? Yeah. What did you have to know to make this? Does it light up? Does it have any tricks? Does it do something crazy? You know, little things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we gave it to a clone trooper that had made his own armor, um, primarily from Peppercurr and fiberglass, and sized it all to fit himself. And, and so, because because of that, you know, he got second place. And third place went to uh, the Eraser, the, which is a, a weird, obscure Batman villain that was actually appeared in the Batman Lego animated movie. Yeah, which was looked really good, and it's kind of funny because, as the eraser, he can always just take his head off because he's got a yellow uh, number two pencil type suit with uh-huh. black stripes, uh, which he painted. Uh, <laughs> but as the eraser, he can take his helmet off, change out his shirt, and be uh, the teacher version of um, All Might from from My Hero Academia because he All Might kind of wears a similar suit, it's a smaller. Smaller pinstripes, but it would totally work for Sack Anime. No, I appreciate <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> multiple costumes out of the same outfit. Right. <laughs> like I would ever work at a costume shop. Right. <laughs> no, I really do enjoy costume contests. I've never won a costume contest. You haven't? No, I haven't. Oh. I oh, have couple. dressed a lot of people up who have right. won costume contests, and I've judged a lot of costume contests. Right. And I've been told I couldn't participate in costume contests. <laughs> But I have never won one. Oh. Yeah. It's kind of... I don't know. Eventually. Eventually, right. Yeah. It's not the end of the world yet. You, uh, well, SAC Anime uh, Summer is coming up in, uh, in in just nine months. Nine months. <laughs> Only nine months. And, um... Right? You know. Hopefully, I won't be one of the judges. <laughs> right? Didn't Mecha Godzilla go in? He did, and, and, and much like some of the other 916 Ghostbusters, that they went in, but they went on as a, hey, we're here, we just kind of want to participate, but we're not actually open for judging. Because uh, Mega Godzilla and Gundam both went into um, uh, SAC anime, but we didn't try to compete because it doesn't really, didn't, didn't want to do that. And, uh, and then the 916 Ghostbusters, since one of their members was a judge, they, they went up to do their thing and have fun, but they weren't part of the competition because... No, I completely get Bias. that. <laughs> no, that's why I often don't get to participate. Yep. But, yeah. Um, is this a really t- thin foam? Yeah. For the little pieces? How for many the of pieces. the circles need that one? I grabbed the wrong one to start with. Well, that's I, can mark, a- I can mark this down. It is 27 mm. I normally color code things. They're color coded. They're all white. Uh... <laughs> Just so we can know it at a glance, you know, what Fair pieces enough. need what, and then... I don't have a highlighter here, I don't think. It's okay. So, there's the pipe ends, which, this, as much as... Where's that pipe at? There's like a bunch over here. you got a bunch around, yeah, but I don't... I know, but... <laughs> I'm not sure which pipe he's using. Oh, okay, he's capping. He's not putting it on the inside. So he is using one-inch PVC pipe, but it's the outside of the pipe. Oh, actually, this side might work. Oh, there you go. It's like you've done this before. That's not. This isn't quite sharp enough. Or it's got too much give underneath it. Trash Panda. Wow, those walls look so bare. They do! Yeah. It's, it's going to a con and then, then getting back. Um, 
I got back last night just about 9 o'clock, I think, right? That's a little earlier than that, actually. It wasn't that bad. But uh, maybe it was 8 o'clock. Stockton's only an hour south of here, so it's not that, that bad of a drive, right? But still, we got to knock down the whole booth, drive it back, unload it, and then you stop and go, I haven't had dinner. <laughs> and then, then I kind of crashed and went to sleep. I didn't, you know... <laughs> Put the shop back together. I'll put the shop back together later today. Maybe. Maybe Eventually. tomorrow. Eventually. Eventually. Uh, if you finish your other props first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sherry Rig Prop says, Moon Eyes, so it takes more power to run a time machine than a proton pack? <laughs> yes. I would assume so, right? Right. Well, you know. Uh, like proton pack is... through space and time and... It's an unlicensed nuclear accelerator for proton pack, and it takes a fusion generator to, to go through time. <laughs> right? I thought we were trying not to math today. <laughs> I'm not mathing. I'm just trying to throw out, you know. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> like, as we're cutting out all the different circles, making sure everything's right. Right. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to fiddle with this. I'm going to let this take all stream. <laughs> Actually, cutting out all the circles. Yeah, I'll try not to, but, you know, I probably will. Because next stream we have to start putting all the piece, pattern pieces together. We really should. Oh, but there's a lot of stuff to cut out still. But, um, yeah. I know! So many pieces to cut out so that you can glue them together. Yep. Reminds me of, like, those foam um, puzzles that, like, you build the cathedrals. <laughs> okay. You have to break them all apart and then you get to build them together. It's just, like, so many pieces. So many pieces. So many pieces. Yeah. Sometimes when I switch between crocheting, knitting, and then go to sewing, I appreciate that I don't have to create the fabric before putting the fabric together. It makes me feel like, wow, this is so much faster. It's really not. It's a different thing. But, you know, not creating your material before having to put the puzzle together it makes things so much faster. Oh, I'm just making a mess. What? Are you tripping on yourself? Yes, I am. Shh, don't tell. Okay. Do you need a sippy cup for your coffee? <laughs> Yes, but no. Um, Ilana, Eon, <laughs> sorry. Eon. Eona Lith Lightbringer. How much more do you need to cut out? A lot. A lot. We are not, there's, we're not even into the 50s yet? Not even into the 50s yet. I'm looking at cutting out, here's, here's one we had as a whole bunch We might get to the 33, through the, to the 40s. We may get through the 40s today. Ish. It's it's one of those things that we can just sit down and do it, right? We could we could just all right, we're gonna do this, but then we wouldn't be talking to you, we wouldn't be doing a live stream portion. You'd just be watching us cut and work and and maybe have a bit of a conversation back and forth, but it wouldn't be. <laughs> mm -hmm. You good. got a lot cut out last week when I wasn't here. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. I got so much done last week. <laughs> it was amazing. It... I had a good time. <laughs> I got you retracted. I was like, why is it poking a hole? That doesn't look right. I forgot to retract the blade, so it just... It was already in the foam when I started turning what? it, so it just tore it. <laughs> yes. Uh, four from two millimeters, so I need six more. <laughs> Yes. Eric Gordon says, I'm back. So welcome back. Hello, Eric Gordon. Welcome back. Uh, Moon Eyes 2K. All right. A question for you guys. I saw a video of pinning the end of a free hand piece. Uh, sorry, this is, can't see. <laughs> sorry, How do I make this moving. wider so I can see the actual full sentences? Oh, here, that one. Yeah. Yeah, you can make it as wide as you want. I just try oh. to have it so I can see the Discord a little bit as well, because someone's sharing their Homer Simpson tattoo on the Discord. Aww. <laughs> so anyways, um... Okay, sorry, Moon Eyes. All right, a question for you guys. I saw a video of pinning the end of a free-hanging piece of fabric with just horizontal pins. Wouldn't those creep out and drop the piece and or poke you? Was this the end of, um, was this us working on the fallout, or is this a different, this has got a, ever so slightly small squeak Video out. of, and a free hanging piece of fabric with just horizontal pins, one of those creep out. And, like, they really don't. Pins are like solid stitches. Like yeah. Like metal stitches. 
stitches, so they kind of hold like staples. And I know that they're going down, but usually there's a ball at the end of the pin for a reason, or just like a little T right. or a tip of the end. Some sort of stopper. I made a whole dress that was just pinned together. It really does stay together. It's stabby. It's, it'll stab you. It's stabby. But, but of course, you're, ideally you're weaving the pin too, right? I mean, you've, you've, you've got a pin and you're not just sticking it through the fabric. You're sticking it through a layer and bringing it across and sticking it through another layer. It's much like a unfolded staple, right? Is that kind of, kind of what you're trying to do? I was trying to do something big enough they might actually be able to see it. Well, the train goes by in the background! If you take a piece of fabric and you pin it, it, the friction holds it, the pin in place pretty well. It doesn't like wiggle out of place. And if you put them this way, there's a ball at the end of the pin yeah. to keep things from slipping. A wee little ball. But if you can pin something, you can also staple it. So there's that. And I know some people would be like staples, but. <laughs> staples? Have you tried staples? Have you tried staples? <laughs> Just saying. But yes, you can pin things together and it'll stay pretty darn well. I hope I answered your question. Um, but yes, it will poke you. Safety pins. Okay. They don't poke you. Spray a little more I wanted it to. All right, now it's not going to go squeak, squeak, squeak. Um, yeah, which may not matter at all, but it's just enough of a thing that I bet the microphone picks it up and makes it sound like there's a large robotic mouse pissed off in here. <laughs> oh, okay, so the squeaky wheel does get the grease. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the squeaky circle cutter gets the grease. I hope. Okay. Gets the white lithium grease. <laughs> so I want to use a, a hopefully a, a grease or oil compound that isn't going to melt the plastic. Right? I think you made it squeakier. <laughs> well, I've, just now for the first time starting to, to get I'm it teasing. go into the threads. Yeah, you're teasing me. You're gonna walk away and you do the stream all by yourself. I'm sorry, people. I won't be mean to Odin. <laughs> hey, you know, I don't think the squeak's coming from the threads, but it is easy to turn. Oh, no, that's better. It's not perfect by a long shot, but I think the squeak's coming from up here. Yeah. There's a lot of plastic pieces all rubbing yes, around in circles there. So if I can't just so crank just squeak, out this squeak, episode. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Yes, with the uh, um, heater humming away in the background, making heater noises in the background. Hey, it's slowly getting warmer, and I'm... That's good, and you're closer to the heater that spits up more heat. Exactly. It's nice and toasty. I'm complaining less and less about how cold it is, so there's that. You lost that. a layer. Yeah, there's that. All right, so Moon Eye says, no, it was something unrelated to here. They had a loincloth, and there was just pins. No safety pins, nothing, since it was straight sideways. I think it shift out as you move. Actually, interesting fact, I believe, I don't want to say that, that I'm an expert, but I believe like the Amish didn't believe in like fancy pins, so they only used straight pins to attach their um, aprons, okay. like in buttons and stuff. Oh, okay. Right, 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 because otherwise it's too technically advanced. I don't know. I'm just, but, I don't, I don't know. things I heard in sewing school, you know, but you can hold things together with pins. Completely. Well, that's what I heard. <laughs> yes, you, it's stabby, but yes, you can get away without it being stabby, and you can make whole garments that are held together with one pin. The Romans, they had those big giant pins where they're the knot, oh, yes, the stabby yeah. things. Yeah. Like, I remember one day in class we were given like a bunch of different looks and we had to make them, but we were only given like a safety pin and like a yard of fabric. It was half scale, so. Oh, okay. It was doable, but yeah. It's still fun. Yeah, so, yes, you can like have garments held very securely together with a straight pin. Yes, it can also be stabby, but not necessarily, especially depending on where you put it. So, I might, I might want to put in a new blade for the next one. Eric Gorn says, squeak! Squeak! Is the squeaking bad? Seriously, is it, is it a big deal? Um, Moon Eye says, unpleasant ears, but still, could be worse. Could be, well, no, Moon Eye no is... batteries, Mike. Oh, right, sorry about that. That happened last week. My, my, the batteries died on my, um, I wore the normal microphone I wear for my, for recording. And the batteries died at about one o'clock. And when that happens, it goes full volume static. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I tried to fix it for people in the future, but everyone who was right there living in the moment, yeah, 
<laughs> it was like the fifth element when they step on the uh, on the surveillance roach and the earphone just yeah. fries the guy. Yeah. I actually was listening to the stream, but because of the way things kept happening, I was behind watching. Okay. And so when that happened, I just skipped ahead and caught up. Because you knew. <laughs> Good for you. I was like, oh, yep. yep. Technical difficulties. It's kind of live. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't really switch out. I mean, I can, but I can't. Logan uh, Products, uh, the Beakers of Cause Tools, asked me to specifically use the red one because it's the new version. Not right, the, the blue one? Not the blue one because they, uh, they changed their look. They're trying to brand the Cause Tools as red and the Foamworks Tools as blue. So I was asked to only use the red one. <laughs> What, what, what do you do with Foamworks versus Cause Tool? Uh, Foamworks as a brand was originally made for architectural yeah. models. And so it's the Foamworks is, is, was made for uh, foam core. Yeah. Or, yeah. I know. It Anyways, just, I'm it just... happened to work, so... I'm, I'm not trying to question their branding choices. I was just Obviously curious you are. as to what the specific <laughs> difference was and why they'd want to. You know, but that makes sense, why Marketing. they're going... Yeah. <laughs> but... No, I'm jealous of that tool. I'm not going to lie. There. I will. That all the pipins. Do you want to mark 18 on all those so we know which one it is? Which piece? This one that we cut all these out of? Yeah. And we need to go publicly live. <laughs> we do, don't we? We do. It's that, it's that special time of the day when we get to... Uh, Say hi to a bunch of random buddy. internet strangers. Yeah. And let them craft with us. Doesn't that sound like fun? Yes, it does. Shadio wants to know, has anyone ever super glued their fingers when working on something? My question is, has <laughs> anyone not yeah, exactly. super glued their fingers <laughs> when they were super gluing, gluing something? something? Like, I, has that ever happened? Like, I'm curious. I believe I did it yesterday at the con. I feel like if my fingers don't end up glued together, I didn't glue it together sufficiently, <laughs> and so we'll add more glue. <laughs> Yeah. No, seriously. Have yeah. you ever just not glued your fingers together while working with super glue? Pretty much no. I can't May think of a Maybe, because there's times I, I try to be really careful about such things, so maybe, but basically <laughs> no. We ready to let people in? Yeah, I'm just playing with uh, the cause tools adjustment. I'm sw swapping out my uh, my blade for a new blade. That's a teeny tiny little. Yeah, isn't it great? It's a teeny tiny little itty bitty itty. You want you want to you want to do number like, two on this is again? That a hey, let's do number two ants? all over this again. <laughs> I feel like is that a razor blade for ants? It's a razor blade for ants. Look at this. That little tiny thing. <laughs> this is uh, what 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 is this blade? This blade is. Two millimeters wide. <laughs> That's it. It's a little tiny blade, and it actually fits in a uh, regular hobby knife uh, handle. You can put it into a standard <laughs> handle. I've done that for so my for cutting out tiny little detail too. things. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna step over here, and right. we're gonna set Mr. Machine to let everybody let pop the in. The people's in. Edit. Here's the thing. Uh, scroll, and we go to. Visibility, unlisted visibility, public. Done. Save. It smells like coffee over here. I wonder why. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We got 10 or 11 people here at once. Do you know 10 or 11 people? Uh, you know, I might. <laughs> so let's see. Suppose Shady O is laughing to make sure. Uh, Eric glues the fingers of his glo rubber gloves together. Like what to take way them to off. go wearing gloves to, right. to work with glue? That is such a novel idea. You know? Every time I wear work gloves, I just like I genuinely appreciate them, but I always avoid them because I, I have this like fear of spiders being in my work gloves. Really? Yeah. 
Is this something that seems oddly specific? Is this something that's happened to you in the past? No, I just you you know the the, the work gloves when you're working on in the garden or moving stuff oh, around yeah. and you need like you put your work gloves on. Yeah. Well, it just seems like that would be the perfect place for spiders to crawl in. <laughs> but okay. work gloves that have been sitting there for too long. I don't know how long they've fully been sitting there. Okay. So I probably won't use them until I'm like, dang it, I have to use them, and then I fully smash them <laughs> to make sure no bugs. Are Okay, okay. I like it. That's, that's I just feel like that's yeah. Little corners of garages and stuff. It's where spiders like to be. Yeah. Need to be stored. <laughs> um my only rotten work glove experience that I can remember, thankfully, does not involve a spider at all. Um we had a little greenhouse in seventh, eighth grade, uh, where we could go and do greenhouse projects, right? We did we didn't have screaming roots like Hogwarts, but uh I can remember going in and there were, there were gloves, we were supposed to wear gloves, and, and we were playing with little cactuses, so uh, I, I grabbed the work gloves and I put it on, and it was just a fairly soft, you know, uh, cloth glove, and apparently somebody previously had taken them off, which inverted them, and left them on the counter. So I pick up this glove and, and it's full of cactus quills. <laughs> That was the, uh, and, and it was those little tiny fine ones that are just irritating, right? So I wasn't injured, but yeah. 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 Ever go hiking around stinging nettle? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. No. Hey, it's Sunday, and we're talking about torturing ourselves with in insects and cactus. Welcome to the Odin Makes live stream. Make sure you smash your gloves and put your, before you put your fingers in them. <laughs> Because spiders. Because spiders. So I want to thank you all for tuning in. This was the Odin Makes live stream. We'll be back again next week. Oh, no, wait, we're doing more, right? Yeah, we're, we just started with the, the, the live live. Oh, we just started the live live. All right, excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, well, hello. Uh, my name is Odin. I've got a ch YouTube channel called Odin Makes, and I'm, I'm here doing the live stream, which I think you guys know. And with me today... Hi, I'm Felicia. Hello, Felicia. <laughs> So, Felicia, how do I know you and why are you here? Because everyone's going to ask anyway. Um, well, we used to work together on this YouTube channel called Smosh. You did the art and prop department, and I did wardrobe department. Yes. And we often had to work together. We made, like, Shane into a car seat once. We and did. And stuff. And then... Shane, Shane was super, uh, super agreeable. And then uh, you would often come back and steal tools from me. Yes, no, I, all the time. And then I started doing music. Well, I was doing them. You were doing them in additional, yeah, music yeah, videos. Yeah, they never stopped. But then everybody kind of started doing stuff here, and I was getting right. into your stuff. Right. And then everybody here. started getting into your stuff. Right. Anyways, long story short, their pandemic hit, and now we're here. And now we're here. <laughs> so my favorite thing with everybody getting into my stuff, I would buy those sleeves of the uh, blue uh, painter's tape, right? So you, you get the, the blue tape. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I bought a sleeve, and I left it on the counter, and the first... Uh, no, it wasn't me. No, it wasn't you. But the very first video production that came through, that exactly happened. All six rolls, gone, right? It's 35 bucks for a roll of this stuff. And it, just, it all disappeared, and it, they didn't come back. So I was like, okay, noted. So I bought another one. And this one I hid in the same way you hide something from a toddler. I put it up on a shelf. <laughs> I can see it. It's right there. It's fully visible. No one ever found it. They don't disappear the same way. They only grab what's on the wall. <laughs> yeah. No, I would often help myself to his tools. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I stole your tape, but I also had my giant roll of tape. Right. Um... It was just his first couple, really, where it was pretty bad. It, it got... Everyone after that got really good at returning stuff, or I felt like they did. Like, Because yeah. if a roll of tape, unless it's a special roll, goes missing, I'm probably not going to notice. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it's surprising how much tape you need on a set. Yeah, you tape every... Well, it's so last minute. Tape is, is the thing. Yeah, no, like I was telling Keegan, you get to a point where it's just duct tape and prayers. Yep. Yeah. No, we it are past really that is. point, Keegan. It is tape time. We solved that problem with tape. The uh, I, I was <laughs> earlier when we were talking to the patrons because hey, by the way, everyone who's watching now, there's a pre-show portion to this live stream that only the patrons get to see live. If you're watching this playback, you get to see the whole thing. But if you want to interact with us live, check out uh, Odin, patreoncom slash makes and see how you can. Get your voice easily heard. Join but the community. Join the community. It's a nice little community. We hang out on Discord and they play video games. Yeah. 
and, and, and the early is open to everybody on, on Patreon. Just being a member of the Patreon gets you access to that. But there are tiers. There's the Discord tier, so you get access to our private Discord. We're both there and, and, and talk all the time. That gets you uh, the ability to be part of our Among Us live stream that happens on Friday. You can actually log in and play because the room code for playing the game is posted on the Discord. And there's also the Minecraft server um, uh, tier, so you can be part of our peaceful Minecraft server. But um, I was talking about something else before I was doing the sales pitch. Um, tape. Uh, we were talking about how oh, we tape. knew each other, and then we got off on to Stanford of me stealing all your stuff. But I right. didn't steal your tape. It wasn't me. No, it wasn't her. <laughs> During the pre-show, I talked about how I was at Stockton Con uh, this yesterday, and I got to be the cosplay judge again. And our number three was Mr. Eraser or the Eraser from uh, from the Lego animated movie or the, the classic Batman, goofy Batman villain. Uh, found it definitely not the one from the Tick because there's an Eraser head guy from the Tick too. There's a Eraser head. I know there's a chair face, Chip and Dale. There's a chair face. Yeah, pretty sure there's an Eraser head. Maybe I'm thinking wrong. Maybe was, I think he was in the comics. There was an Eraser. It probably head. was that because you know you don't forget. Right. <laughs> there's a tongue guy too. And yes. Tick's my favorite. So. so he made super pointed shoes because the Eraser has an Eraser number two pencil eraser for a head, and number then, two pencil body. So we got down to his shoes. He had the super tell me they pointy drew. shoes. Oh, they didn't draw. I'm sorry. I feel like if you get all the way to the tip, you could put a pencil in there and go... Yeah, anyway, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm not dissing his costume. I just got excited for an opportunity. But he had done it with uh, aluminum foil sculpting and then gaff tape and then and then painted over it. But that was... Gaff tape is amazing. But what you would appreciate is off of his right shoe, he had hooked up a... Um, I thought it was a smoke pen, but it wasn't. He had hooked up a small little tube with a connector around his ankles so he could take his shoe off. And it ran all the way up his body to a little thing on his pack, on his back, and he had a button here. So he'd hit it, and the very tip of his shoe would just smoke. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> going to be like he had a vape pen and he was going to... No, no. But it was all it was all done very subtle, so he could just hit, hit the button with his thumb and the tip of his shoe would smoke. <laughs> I appreciate effects. Yes. I love interactive costumes. And um, I always talk about, you don't want to do that at SAC Anime? We weren't at SAC Anime, so whatever, Stockton Con, let's go. <laughs> right, go yeah. Stockton Con. <laughs> you can get away with the cool tricks there. <laughs> yeah, it all, it all depends all the cool on the cool cosplayers venue. show off the cool... <laughs> right, it all depends on the venue. We just, SAC Anime a few years ago had a problem with uh, a vape pen setting off a smoke alarm, and the, and the fire marshal had us evacuate the building in the rain. So, hey, Nobody guess what? Nobody wants to be that guy. No, nobody's allowed to have smoke effects at SAC Anime anymore. <laughs> yeah. So we had a super chat fly by. We did. We did. It's I'm going to bet it was from Shady. And if it wasn't, hey, Shady, anyway, because I know you're here. Shady O, 499. Minecraft. Ah, Minecraft. <laughs> Shady is is probably the um, one of the busiest Minecraft players on the Minecraft server. And he just recently moved from, because we all started near, there's a point, spawn point, right? Everyone starts the game in kind of relatively the same area. And if you haven't made yourself a new base, a new bed within the game, because you, you place a bed and your character sleeps in it, that's now your spawn point. Yeah. So if you haven't done that, you're going to respawn at the spawn so point. So that's like the popular place where everybody ends up. Yeah. Starts. So he, he moved. He found a, he found a <laughs> village that he liked because it was getting a little crowded, and he's, he's moving his uh, base over to this other village. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's going out to the country, getting some space. Yep, getting some space, moving in with some locals. Yep. <laughs> oh. You said Sunday. No, I mean. I did say Sunday. We're Monday. Today's Monday. Today is Monday. I'm not fully there yet. I'm not there yet either. I'm ready for Mondays. It still feels it's like It's been a, a year of Sunday, so. Right? Sunday, fun I didn't day, even, Monday. I didn't even notice that I had said Sunday. Right? I didn't even notice either. So apparently, the minimum size I can make with this radius is 13 and a half millimeters, so let's set this to 14 millimeters so I can get a 28 millimeter circle. Did you guys catch that math? Mumble! <laughs> we are cutting out circles today. Mumbler! We have Kevin Meeker 4L. Hi from Tucson, Arizona. Oh, hello to Tucson, Arizona. Hello, Kevin. Hey, the fact that someone's calling in or, or mentioning in from a different city and state, that reminds me. Uh, and I can almost quote, say that reminds me, which is a, a line from Raising Arizona. But um, I just talked to... Well, his name's Jeff, but it doesn't really matter. I just talked to the guy who's running a brand new con called Creators Con that'll be happening on April 9th. It's a single day con on Saturday. This is coming up in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. 
Oklahoma. Yes, Oklahoma. He he sent me a, uh, hey, we're doing this thing. Steve from SKS Props is going to be here. We want to know if you want to come out and be the other celebrity maker. And so, yes, I'm going to be there. I signed the contract this morning. It's going to be a one-day con. I will be flying out on the 8th. I'll be there all day on the 9th. It's, I, the contract is 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I don't know if that's con hours or if that's just this is the time they expect me to be available. Yeah. Um, and then I'll be coming back on Sunday. So, uh, yeah. Nice. So if you're if you're in or near or around the Oklahoma City area or have the ability to get there without going through a whole lot of personal pain, um, I'm going to be there on April 9th. I'll be there all day. And, um, yeah, it should be fun. One of the only things... So the con sounds like it's very building and creating oriented. Mm -hmm. uh, I've looked at the website a little bit, and he told me about it. It's like, oh, that sounds like fun. Whatever, I'll be with Steve, so I don't care. Right. <laughs> like, you did yeah. that draw it a little bit. And <laughs> yeah, enjoy. pretty much. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> one, of the, one of the activities they're going to have is they're going to have an hour-long contest where you get to make an alien head, and then everyone gets to judge it at the end. So, I don't know if this is a xenomorph alien, or if it's a gray alien, or if it's just a catch-all. It's an alien! Yeah, you look like Pizza the Hut. You know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Which I feel like alien could be, like, who's to say what an alien looks right. like? Right. So, so if, it, if it's open interpretation to any, any, any alien, that's actually kind of cool. And you can do anything you want. But if it's, if it's specifically xenomorph, it's like, wow, an hour is not enough time. <laughs> no, I love this out-of-the-bag contests, yeah. challenges. That sounds like fun. It does sound like fun. Are you going to do a workshop? I believe I'm doing a workshop. I'll be doing a couple of panels. I will do a, a, a talking panel. I'll do at least one talking panel with okay. Steve. I'll be at the con the entire time. I, I, um... I have an extra package of those measuring tapes if you need it for that. Oh, so. thank you. So. I still got some set aside from the last one I was at really? in Dallas two years ago. <laughs> How many metric tapes did I get then? Because I, I don't remember. You, you gave me a few. I, I can see the the staples box. Even my glasses off. I can see the orange and white staples box up there. Okay, that, that so then I won't worry about some it. Some of those tools in them. But yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah. I get to fly out, which is exciting. And 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 they're covering like everything. It's Adventure? actually really cool. Adventure. Hey, you know what? I could work Beyond Geek into this. Uh, the last time I was in Oklahoma City, we were shooting an episode of Beyond Geek with Brittany at, the, at a Star Trek set. So it'd be kind of fun getting back, getting to go back to Oklahoma. What I really remember about Oklahoma more than anybody else, the people were freaking nice. They were, they were, everyone, even out in the public, the, 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 you know, you, you, it's kind of dumb because most baristas are going to be nice, but it was just, everyone had a really pleasant attitude. So that's kind of, that was my takeaway of Oklahoma City. Yeah. I feel like also if you're giving out a pleasant attitude, you attract a pleasant it's attitude. Because sometimes when you're in a funky attitude, everybody seems to be mean. <laughs> no, this is probably true. <laughs> and it's not them. <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I, I can appreciate a friendly group of people where you do feel welcome. Yeah, it so. was nice. That sounds like fun. Yay, it's con season. It's con season. So that's, that's April 9th. Uh, February 17th, not, not Valentine's Day. I'm missing it by a little bit. I'll be in San Diego at a little con called Rocket Con. Oh, nice. I keep calling it a little con, which is nothing against Rocket Con. It's just it's not San Diego Con. As soon as I say San Diego, it's like, oh, it's you're going to be there? It's like, no, I'm not going to be at that one. <laughs> yes. Jets. My Somebody's... little brother hated that song. <laughs> His name was Ben. Oh, I would do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Luke Vlog says, Hey, Odin, can you make Gerald of Riviera still steal and silver swords from Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> no, we specifically didn't do that. We specifically didn't. So, yeah. No, we didn't do that. <laughs> no, but I did like the, the new season. I know a lot of people didn't, but I really did enjoy it, like, a lot, so. Um, you never watched the first I one. I haven't watched them, yeah. yeah. I just have, I have, and I need to, because, I mean, I haven't seen, uh, I don't know if um, JP Sculptor is, is on, but uh, there, was a, there was a person who was commenting on and watching the live stream for the longest time, but worked on the show, and I hadn't watched the show. <laughs> Tis, yeah. tis. No, I like I saw their outfits as like just drooling over it. Right. <laughs> you know, it was a great series. Yeah. I enjoyed it so, and I like their, I like that they showed him making his own outfit 
Oh, did in they? this new season. Yeah, he's oh, like, cool. stitches together some old armor to make his new armor. Oh, okay. I like oh. can appreciate the craftsmanship. I love it when they actually show the origins of like how the heck did Spider-Man wind up with this suit or you know what I mean? Right. Just like I ordered it off Amazon, right? Of course. Isn't that what you do? Uh, always. Yeah. Uh so we have Strats88 saying, hey Odin, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Stephen Bates. Stephen? Oh. Bletas. Yeah, Steve. Okay, hello, Stephen. Thank you. Sorry about butchering your name. Yeah, we're good at that. Um. So. We have hello, Odin from Fabworks. From Fabworks. Fabworks. Like fabrics? Huh. No, Fab Fa Works. Fabulous. I'm works. feeling like fabrication. Fabrication works. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing, but. It could be fabric. Okay. I don't judge. I like fabric. <laughs> you um, like fabric, really? <laughs> so, Silver Scratch Belt wants to know, the plastic dip you use, what's the name of it? I'm making a 2.5 foot tall mecha out of cardboard and want to make it stronger. Uh, well, the Plastid Dip I use is called Plastid Dip. It's a product made by a company called Performix, I think. Um, so that is the like Band-Aid brand name. Yeah. Is Plasti Dip. Is Plasti Dip. Yeah. It's like plastic dip, but it's Plasti Dip. Yeah. Yeah, Performix. Hope that helps. Can we? So Wolverine Scratch says we back to Mondays. Hey all. So. I'm glad you guys enjoy Mondays. <laughs> yeah. Number two. <laughs> Number two. Number two. Ooh, that one's sparkly. Sparkly. Metalizer. Yeah, this one. So it makes it, it's a uh, clear coat you put over your Plasti Dip that makes it all sparkly. I haven't used it in a little while, but it's just called Plasti Dip. Sparkles. Sparkles. Plasti Dip. Odin Makes brought to you. This two seconds of Odin Makes is brought to you by Plasti Dip. No, not, they didn't. They no, didn't they really give us didn't. money to promote it. All. It's I, just what he uses. I bought this. In fact, I think they're. Uh, I think the labels are changing. So. <laughs> and they're actually uh, starting to. Plasti Dip has recognized that you know cosplayers and and, and and armor builders are using it so much. They have started making a costume or a craft line and you can actually buy a Plasti Dip at Michael's now with an orange labeled can. I can't imagine it's it's terribly different. I haven't I haven't purchased it because it, it actually it's higher price than what I can get at Home Depot. But um, No, but you pay for the convenience. You pay for the convenience. And plus they have coupons and they accept others coupons so you can use those to add, you know. Well, craft just... supply stores don't ever pay full price if you can help it. And I know it's hard, but yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> but uh, so, it's overpriced because you have the convenience of it being there. Yes. And honestly, I feel like I've gotten prettier golds at the craft store. Yeah. Than Home Depot for sure. Oh, for sure. Like, they, they, this, they're this more expensive, cans, but they're yeah. sparklier oh, yeah. and prettier. Like, yeah, the golds that they use for, for crafting and for floral. Yeah. Or you go over to, like, the framing section and you get those really old antique. Anyways. Yeah. But, yeah, see, pay premium, but you're getting what you need right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <sighs> but coupons, they save my wallet every once in a while so I can get more things. More things. <laughs> All the things. All the things. Actually, no, I don't I don't tend to get too many things like cuz I don't like having to store them. Right. Mm. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about with that at all. Hey, I think I found the squeak. Yay. Still hard to retract. So, it. guy with the green hat wants to know, Odin makes what part of the pack are we currently working on? We are still coloring out all the puzzle pieces, so yep. we haven't gotten them to where we're starting to stick them together. We're still just cutting out pieces. Exactly. All right, what? I'm cutting out the wrong size circles still. So still. Uh, yep. So those are all wrong pieces. Plus? Those are wrong size. They they might fit a different one, so I'm not going to throw them away. Uh, but yeah, I, this, yeah, this is the smallest uh, circle that this cutter can make. Uh, which is too small for number 44. But the one I was doing is a couple of millimeters too big for number 44. Not, not that the viewers at home can see this, but, you know, I'm... Two? I'm telling... I think two's fine. 
So that's we're cutting out number 44. This is the, my first round, and you can kind of see that the the phone's a little too big. And then this is the uh, the smallest that the, the tool can make, and it's it is definitely too small. So now I'm trying to find a medium. Yes. <clears throat> Um, Oculus 2003 says, have you tried using Hexiflex? Hexiflex. Uh, I tried it recently, and I think I prefer it to Plasti-Dip. What color? I have not tried Hexiflex. What I want to try that I haven't tried yet, and I actually need to, to try, because I have a couple of pro projects coming up that would have a good use for a latex alternative, is CreatureCast. CreatureCast is a neoprene-based rubber, uh, and is a company out of Portland that makes it and they make it in different hardnesses. One that's as, as uh, flexible as latex, and another one that's hard. I have no idea exactly yeah. how hard it is, but, and. Uh, it doesn't rot? I, uh, I hope not, it's neoprene. Yeah, that, that's so, what I was thinking, yeah. and I'm like. The, if, it, if it doesn't rot the way latex rots, that that, that's what awesome. I want. And, uh, and it comes in, I believe it comes in white and black, which one of the things I want to ask them is, can I color it? Because if I can color the base so I have a colored base to start with and then work from there instead of adding paint over the, the latex or the latex alternative, yeah. then that's, that's, that's what I really want to do. So, I, And as far as the cost goes, a gallon of Creature Cast is comparable to a gallon of latex. So it's not like there's a huge price difference if you're going to go the latex route anyway. Right, if you're going yeah. through all that effort. But that's why I don't often go through the latex effort unless it's going to be on physical human skin. For right. me, because it's gonna rot, and all my efforts is gonna go. Yeah, it'll take time. It's not gonna rot tomorrow, <laughs> no, unless you leave it in the sun. But working at a costume <laughs> shop, you see things deteriorate before your eyes, and it's so yeah. such a sad story that it just makes me not want to. Yeah. You know, create art that's gonna rot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I try, like, so we like. I told you, we throw things on the ground to make sure it's going to last a rental. That was the amazing thing. You, you first talked about the Mad Hatter hat you made. It's like, yeah, so we want to test how we're going to rent it. Throw it on the ground and step on it. <laughs> Kick it. Kick it. Oh, okay. I kicked it. Kicked it. All right. It was made out of um, that plastic canvas. Okay. That stuff yeah. is resilient. <laughs> it is. I saw a couple of cosplays using that for eyes. It is a great material because it's very sturdy and yet you can cut it and use it like a fabric and it breathes and it has right. the plastic. It's a, I was obsessed with like Barbie furniture made out of that when I was a little kid because my grandma would have those little books with the crafts in. Hey, I found it. It only took four tries. The right size? That the is the right size. I gotta, all you do now is cut out 11 more. <laughs> is that doubled? That's double. Okay, cut cool. six for six millimeter. You want me to cut out 30? <laughs> no, I'm just making... All I gotta do is cut out 56 more. All I gotta do is cut out 112 more. <laughs> well, it's like, do I automatically math it forwards or backwards from the number that you need? How many right. per proton pack? <laughs> so what, this is piece number 44? That is piece number 44. There you go. I don't need that anymore. I need this. As long as I don't play... Do as long as I don't touch my set screws, I'm set. Ooh, don't mess with it. So, uh, cons. Um, John Christensen, the fellow that uh, runs the Sacramento, Sacramento Media Center, where we're streaming out of, out of to you live today, came out to SAC Anime and did a quick little news piece, a little uh, on-the-spot uh, field news piece. I have not watched it yet. He sent me a link uh, a while ago, then said he wanted to make changes, and so I didn't watch it. But uh, as of this morning, he has posted it live to, I think... The raw TV. This is the problem. Now, now here I am live. I want to talk about. It. It's like, oh wait, I don't know what the what the link is. But maybe John's watching. And John, if you are watching, please post the link to the piece that you made in the uh, in the discussion. Uh, if it says that I need to approve it, I will. And that way, everyone who is watching now can see your news piece about me and and cosplay repair and whatever it is you have done at Sac Anime. So that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. And John, if you're not watching, what the heck? No, he's probably watching. He usually does. John's John always comes out and, and, and compliments us on on uh, on what we're doing. And he likes the fact that there's um, live stuff happening, and then there's content being made in the in the facility that he he helped create. Right. He he kind of created. It was sort of his. I want to do this thing. It's, oh, okay. Hey, I ended up here. Yep, I'm here. I don't leave. <laughs> no, you don't. 
Blaze the Lem... Sorry, Elms. E-L-I-N-Z. Blaze so, Elms? Or, or Yeah. Says, hey Odin, what's the difference between the blue circle cutter and the red circle cutter? We talked about this earlier. So. Hey, so the red, do I have the blue circle cutter? It's here? right there. Well, there's, I've got three of them in here. So Captain Splody gave me that one because he ordered one and they shipped him two. Um, there it is. And then Logan Products sent me one too. So what's the difference? One's red and one's blue. So if you take the blue circle cutter, you I don't remember the lines well enough. Um, this one specifically is branded as the Foam Works. This is the one for the... Uh, Architects and foam cutters. This is for fun and people who like to play dress up. Yep. So are you a dress up person or make the tiny buildings person? So what's the difference? The color. It's exactly um, the same tool. Crips and takes, Bloods? Yeah. Crips um. and Bloods. Uh, <laughs> It's it's exactly the same tool. That they both are still branded foam works on, on, on in the mold. They didn't change it. Same company, but cosplay. Cosplay. Professional. And professional, yeah. But there's no physical difference. But they both work amazing. So yeah. it's do you like the blue one or do you like the red one? Yep. And um, I got rid of the squeak with a little bit of lithium grease, and I'm hoping that won't melt the plastic because. Three in one oil probably would. Um, I remember asking uh, the, the the guys at Logan's Works a while ago, "Hey, this is happening. What what do I do?" And they they kind of said, "No one's ever asked before because nobody else has ever cared." Right. <laughs> and so my first thought was maybe they're not it, audio guys. No. Well, it's just it's a craft tool. It's what it does. Who cares? Um, does it cut? Yes. yes. Okay. So <laughs> Mission what if it sings as it does? It goes ah. <laughs> so my first thought was maybe a little bit of Vaseline, but uh, no, that's... That sticky would leave a residue. I don't yeah. know. I wouldn't... I would go powder over that, but then you're starting to gunk things up, and that's... Right, powder something else that can gunk, but it'll, it can work. Talc can, can do it. Have you seen... Has, is Mr. Christensen watching? Has he posted his, uh, his video? I have not seen it. Okay. I will, I can double check my phone. Because he told me just before I hit live uh, today, so I didn't get a chance to look at it. I didn't get a, sing it, get a chance to. Okay. Um, Steven Deitch would like to see a close-up of the circle cutter cutting. Oh, okay. We can do that. So, hey, there we are. I've camera three or four? Uh, camera two is probably good. That's Okay, I think you're right. Ready? Camera two and... All right. All right. So let's see, I gotta find where it is because this is okay. I might need to. I think camera four. Oh, uh, you can do four or three. Go ahead. There you go. Cause you're not actually gonna see it happen with four. You see the action. So as I'm turning the handle, it is actually unscrewing the center, and so it's all spinning. And the action of it unscrewing is also making the blade descend and uh, cuts the circle out. And if you want to, we can try it again with number three on the side. And number three. Number and three. Cut. <laughs> I can walk over and touch the, uh, the zoom in feature and see if that actually helps. Does it? Almost. Uh, adjusting. Live. Live. Play with the camera, and it's fine. All right. Has this... Sorry. <laughs> I, I kicked the heater. <laughs> Has this little... you. It did. It does not like moving around. I'll move that the whole. So now we can. That tiny blade for ants. Tiny blade for ants. Yeah, this blade is only two millimeters wide. If you keep going, is that center going to stab through the... Uh, the actual center doesn't stab. It's got this little uh, drop down. Oh, I was so nervous about it stabbing. Yeah, no, it's just it's just there to give you a, a good guide on where the uh, center is going to be. Let me turn this over and crank it back up. So if you wanted to make sure that you were hitting a circle where you wanted it, you can, you know, put your little ink dot like right here and then... You can try real hard, looking through all the wavy. 
and it's still not. It's really close. Um, it's got a little bit of play, the, the center thing, as well as I'm always looking through the wavy plastic. So as I do that, it, it distorts it because you're pushing to see. Right. It isn't always exactly in the center, but it does a really good job. So it's really close. And there are two more number 44s. Okay. We need three more. Okay. Well, I will put this back together. There's two sets of six. Yep, two sets of six. Plus, I wonder if we ever want to do any extras because since I've got this custom We're set. We're going to pre miss. miss. Yeah. yeah. Just we, in case we, we, we might end up losing one before we get around to gluing them together. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. We got a big super chat from Monkey Business. We got a $30 super check saying, Wow. Hey, Odin, I was casting a clear resin sword and it cracked. Oh. Any ideas how I can fix it or am I better off remaking it? Wow, you cast a clear resin sword and it cracked. Is this the, if it's the polyester resins, um, they are notorious for doing that because the, 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 the heat generated when, when the polyester resin is setting up, the, the core will, um, the outside will set up and then the core is still doing its thing and expanding, which causes it to crack. Um, basically, I could be a little wrong, but I think it's, it's kind of the same idea for why ice is cracking. Yeah, well, pudding. You get an outer oh, layer. Yeah, pudding. Yeah. Yeah, don't eat your clear resin. Uh, resin no. <laughs> it's not that type it's of pudding. It's not pudding. Um, you cast it clear because you wanted it clear. You're kind of hosed. Uh, Probably pour really, a second, a new one. Yeah, the, the, the theoretical amount of work to go through to try and put this back together, and you'll always be able to see where you glued it back together. There's nothing you're going to be able Use to do. Use gold. Yes. <laughs> What you need is gold, unicorn tears, and the hopes and dreams of preschoolers. You put all that together. Um, <laughs> well, I was thinking the Japanese technique when like oh, the okay. dish breaks. And <laughs> oh, you're actually it. talking reality. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they like mend it with gold to embrace. Yeah. Embrace the, the the chaos. Embrace the the change. Yeah, what makes us who we are, I guess, and yeah. gilded in gold. But yeah, no, cast a new one. I think is the answer because right. you're not going to get a seamless. You're not going to get a seamless. The hard thing is if you're if you're going to use the same polyester resin you got that it's going to happen again that you picked up at a hardware store. It's going to happen again. You there are artists who have figured out the formula and know uh, how what tiny amount of the drops of, of the chemical the reactive agent to put in there that'll still make it kick off and go uh, solid but won't overcook it and it takes yeah. way longer. And then also having a drying strategy. Right. Because you can't just, oh, I'm going to let it dry. You kind of either have to control it and let it slowly dry right. or have a heating Temperature element. Temperature control. Or, yeah. Um, you probably... Or reinforce it. Yeah. Uh, hopefully your mold is still good. And, and if you can if you can recast it, get a two-part epoxy that's that's clear. Um, or a two-part urethane. Um Smooth On's got it. Mold Life has got it. Uh, there's a couple other places. Uh, there's uh, there's some that you can get from craft stores that are uh, made by uh, Alumalite, I think. Um, those are going to work uh, probably a lot easier. And they're, they're also easier to mix. Now, if you're not using the polyester and I guessed wrong, then... Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> So John did send me the, the thing. Let's so you can see. say the right answer? Yeah. Well, this goes back to the video, so let me... Yeah. Ralph Mork says, golden cracks in a crystal sword sound awesome. So Actually, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Not the end of the world. It's just how you embrace your flaws, I guess. Right. It's my Crystar cosplay. Crystar, the crystal warrior from, from the 80s. He was... He never had a show, I don't think, but he had some really fun, clear plastic toys. The shows you made up were awesome. Yeah, the shows you made up were awesome. There's that. We want to be here. I suppose have this back. Yeah, we got 90 people watching right now. Well, hello, 90 people. Paste. And there. I just posted the uh, URL that John had sent me for his little news piece he did on, on me at SAC Anime. I have not seen this. So, uh, there you go, everyone. Check it out. Comment on John's video. Hopefully I, it's not embarrassing. Hopefully it's not embarrassing. Oh, I hope I didn't say something stupid. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't. Um, 
Yeah, but jo- watch that Jones, after the stream. Yeah. John's got integrity. He's not gonna. He's no, not, I know. He's not interested in doing a gotcha piece or doing anything embarrassing. He, you know. So yeah. I'm not. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> yeah. But I will add that video to. Uh, I've got a playlist of Odin and other channels. I'll add that video to that playlist. Actually, I really should update that. I forgot to add a few others. Like I did an interview with Sean Jay a long time ago, and I think I forgot to add the video to that playlist. I Poor know. Sean. So many projects, and they just right. Oh, and like two weeks ago, I was on Nerd Podcast Radio for the 200, 200th episode. I think I completely forgot to tell anybody I was on. <laughs> I was one of like 12 or 13 guests, so it's not like That's I awesome. talked a whole lot. It was really cool, though. Yeah, it was a fun fun podcast. I know. Uno mas. Okay. Um, I'll make Trey more. Steven Deitch says, A whole cutter like that might have to be my next purchase. I currently use a circle jig I made for... Made from the SKS channel. Yes. Well, the circle jigs work well, and the uh, the cookie cutters, like what Adam Savage has, and or or you can get cheap leather cutters. Those are great. Um, this thing is really nice, and it goes up to you know um, six inches or like a, almost 150 millimeters wide. So it's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. And with that little drop down rod, you can do a pretty decent job of cutting out rings, which I will be doing. At some point. Okay, so we got all of this. All the ones that we need. Need. So okay. anything in now is bonus extra. Okay, I'll just do a couple extra. I'm betting this much. On yes, I'm betting this much on 44. <laughs> yes. And it's red. But as you can see, it's incredibly difficult to make a number of circles all exactly the same diameter and hand them off to your assistant who can then number them <laughs> and keep track of them. You, What you want to do while you're crafting is... Cut out your pieces and hand them to someone else who's organized so they know where the parts are. <laughs> Don't lose all your parts, because sometimes scraps look like pieces and pieces look like scraps. Oh, yeah, they do. No, that one's not going to work. It's actually overlapping. We got a greetings from Germany. Oh, hello, hello to Germany. Yeah, it's Karoshi... F.T. Batcrafts? I don't know. Sorry about butchering your name. But hello from Germany. So that's two of the circles. <laughs> two Lightning extras. quick. Now that you have the right size, it's easier. Right. Now we'll do the filter cap and HGA cap, which is two from six millimeter. Wait, is this one the same size as that one? Nope, that one's slightly bigger. Nope, okay. I tried to check that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would. Yeah. Oh, we have a greetings from Turkey. Oh, excellent. Carnivore. I don't know how to say your name. Carnivore? No. <laughs> Carnivore? Like con K H A N? I don't know. Um. It's pretty much 59. Okay. So there is a ruler marked on the inside, which is fairly accurate. I'm trying to actually measure from the blade to the theoretical center point. So you're trying to write... Because I'm, I'm fine that I, I can get a more accurate circle that I want that way. But still, now I get to do 59, right? So I get to do, what, 29 and a half millimeters is my radius? <laughs> Don't be off a millimeter, I'll tell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's almost it. You would tell. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could two, see. so I need four. Here we go. So, Stratus88 wants to know, Hey Odin, would you try to make a PKE meter with lights and sounds from Ghostbusters or an Afterlife version? What are your thoughts on the film? Afterlife, I loved. Yes. And uh, I am totally down for making a PKE meter, and that is one of the project goals for this year. Uh, for a while now, so that's actually a little small. I yeah, tried. it is a little small. Um, You're a millimeter off. Yep. Actually, two. Yep. Yeah. Um, one and a half. I'm off. Surprise! Gonna make one this year. That's a project goal for this year. Yes. And guy with the great with the green hat has been working on his Minecraft proton pack while watching the stream, and it's been a bit of a challenge. His Minecraft proton pack? Uh huh. 
Okay. That's kind of cool. Is this one you actually, I, I suppose, wear in Minecraft? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe? Yeah, it could be a mashup for a cosplay. What, what cosplay mashup did I see over the weekend? Yeah. I think the Elizabethan Queen was the main one that I saw, but I swear I saw some others. Yes. Um... I can, I can already see the blades dulling because it's starting to get a little fuzzy on the edge. I know, right? It doesn't take long. It no, really doesn't it really take long. it really doesn't. It's just the foam cardboard's the worst, but... Yep. That is very close. That is one millimeter off. No, I'm kidding. That's this actually... the wrong side. Yeah. Ever so slightly. So... Um, just a random dumbass says, Hi Odin, I used to watch your marble build videos a long time ago. You were an inspiration to me to make some of my very own marble we marble weapons. Nice. Make some of my very own marble weapons and some of my own. Awesome. Well, thank you for commenting, just a random dumbass. Yes. And thank you for having a fun name to say. Right? <laughs> Keep making things. It's fun. It is. Um, Marty Guy says, hello beautiful people, feeling under the weather today, but you two always make me smile. Much love from Maryland. Oh, awesome. Well, I hope you feel much better. There Stay we. home, keep your germs to yourself. Right. Feel better soon. So close. Are so these close. ones counting or are we... Oh, uh, you can mark those as extra. Okay, extra. Yeah. Extra 30, so do E30. E30X. <laughs> E30X. It's also foam. There's a bit of squishing involved, and then yeah. it'll never glue together perfect anyway. This isn't gunpla. This isn't, uh, you know. <laughs> well, the thing is, is you have to be as exact as you possibly can be on your patterns because every step of the way, you're going to get a little off from the cutting to the gluing to the... Yep. Everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, William learning, wait, I'm learning to heal, says, I remember the lost part during the Witcher armor build. <laughs> <laughs> wait, where did that part go? We gotta make it again. It was stored in the shelf to make it nice and flat, and I found it yeah. later. <laughs> you yeah. know, the easiest way to find anything you're missing when you're working on, go out and buy another one. Yeah. It'll pop right up. <laughs> yep, it will. So now I've got to put this somewhere safe, right on top of the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, whenever I'm having a car problems and it's not starting, I just call my dad and all of a sudden it starts right up. Like right. Oh, someone's going to check. <laughs> mm -hmm. I need to behave. Right. Um, Garrett Wittenberg says, nice to see you guys are back at it. Yes, we're still yes. cutting pieces. We will not give up. <laughs> What's crazy is you got to appreciate these build videos that you don't see all this cutting. Right. Because this is all the time that just gets edited out. Yep. <laughs> but it does happen. And it takes forever. It takes forever. Yeah. There's a, um, Steve from SKS Props was posting about his EE3 build for Bubba Fett for a month. And there's just a ton of parts he's figuring out, putting together, and putting his pattern together. Yeah. Uh, Black Sheep Props just put out their EE3 build. The video is over an hour long. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, because there's a ton of stuff to cut out. But you're still editing all that part out. Right. You know, like, I feel like we need a montage machine. Just oh, montage nice. machine. And then it's done. Okay. Austin Potter says, my first video I saw was the Call of Duty ray gun. It blew my mind that you could build that out of foam. I've been watching ever since. Thank you. That was a fun one. Yeah. Yeah, that, was, that was a challenging one. Uh, and speaking of editing things out, I'm pretty sure that one had some explicatives uh, <laughs> edited out of it. Just go together, you... Uh, it but, might uh, have been slightly of a frustrating build. So if it was hard for you, if you tried it, <laughs> it was a full experience. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was one I was definitely very happy with when I was finished. Yes. There we are. So there's three that are... And you acceptable could, 30s? Acceptable 30s. So uno mas and then we're good? Yep. Oh, we need four? Yeah, cut two okay. from six millimeter foam. Ah, I, was, I wasn't doing my math. I know. I gotta do my math. <laughs> we are double soon. Uh, there we are. And... I'll take a couple of those. We can uh, show the sides. Are you good and mark that? Oh, yeah, the difference between a good one and a bad one. Uh huh. So. All right, number three? Three, yeah, three should be fine. Three might be a little blown out. Try two. 
Okay, two. Cut. There you go. Uh, well, I guess three was closer. It's really hard to see. Um, what if you did a black background? Well, okay, go, go, go back to three. I'm sorry we're clicking through cameras. Cut. Cut. So hopefully, if I get stuff out of the way, you can see the difference between the two. The edges are fuzzy. So this is when the blade was getting to be done. Uh, and the edges are, are, are kind of tearing as much as cutting. I mean, it's still cut really well, but it's got this really rough edge on it because, um, you know, the blade isn't sharp. And then you can, you can compare that, I don't know if you guys can see this at all, right. with uh, a brand new blade. And that one is so this super one smooth. Looks like a spongy cake to me on the edges. Yes, this looks like a sponge. And then this one looks like a nice clean eraser that's been freshly cut. Right. Yeah. Uh, the side of this one looks very much like the top, like the like the, the factory edge. It's I can still see the rings from from the descending, but anyway, it's the difference between a old cutting blade and a new cutting blade, and why I like to say you want a sharp uh, knife to be working with. Yeah. So keep sharpening as you go. Yeah. And I have tried sharpening these little guys, but Cos Tool sent me these huge packets of the, of the blades. Like I should just. You might as well just replace them. Because every time they send me a new packet of blades, it's like, all right, I, I shouldn't be well, so stingy. <laughs> I have the habit of throwing needles away, like sewing machine needles. Okay. Because if you're having issues with your sewing machine, the first thing you do is rethread it. The next thing you do is you change your needle out. Okay. And those two things usually solve majority of the sewing machine issues that you have. Right. Because you don't have a sharp needle, it's everything's going to be harder. Yeah. So when I'm starting a new project, I always start with a fresh needle. Okay. And I never put my old needles back in the thing. They're just gone because I don't want to grab a dull one. So like, I'm, I'm all for resharpening things and keeping going, but there, yeah. sharpness helps. Sharpness helps. I like to check size 30 to size 33. Exactly the same size. That's what I thought. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see the... No. Nope. Well, I, I can't go. I can't go back. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just wondering uh, if it was a better fit. No, this okay. one is the better fit. All right. And this is one where I've got a center cutting out of, of, of the other one. So I'm going to need to do the dot and then cut the big and then uh, tape it down and cut out the center. So you make the donut before you donut hole. Yeah, I need to make the outside of the donut. I want to make the outside of the I can go the other way too, but it's just, it's set. So I'm going to make it harder on myself by making the big cut first to make the little cut. You know, if you're actually worry, using a laser lying. cutter. Yeah, you want to do the little cuts first, then you do the big cut because then the material is moving around. But yeah, we're just live, whatever. Whatever. No one cares. Everyone just pretends. watch us make or make the mistakes. Yeah. Everyone Except wants... for the consequences live. <laughs> there you are. Mm-hmm. We will regret this in five, four, no. Yes. <laughs> um, Zassin Nisabal says, hi, 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 Garrett Wittenberg is working on an Audrey 2 while watching you make your proton packs. Oh, that's cool. Right? Blaze Elam says, hey, Odin, I've... <laughs> feed me, gatekeeper. Feed me more. No, key master. Feed me, key master. Feed me more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Odin, have you heard of a game called Brawlhalla? Oh, it moved. Everything moved. No! Brawlhalla. If not, it's a 2D game where people fight on an island. If so, please make one of weapons, IG, a scythe, hammer, sword, etc. Obscure video game, make it an obscure, obscure video. video game prop. Odin, <laughs> please and thank you. Kuroshi, but I forgot to make my dog. That's sorry for butchering your name. Says cutting foam is mesmerizing. Can be yes. Yes, and muddy. Ten fifty two. Hello from Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Hello, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. City, state, and county. Uh, probably yes. And uh, I was saying earlier, there's a con coming up on April 9th in Oklahoma City. I am going to be there with SKS Props. Uh, Steve from SKS Props. Scott will probably be there too. So uh, that's going to be called Creator Con, and that's April 9th. So um, I'm going to be at the con all day. It's my first outside of California con in two years. Oh, nice. Yeah. I went to my first con last year, which was Sac Anime, and I haven't been to another one yet. But. <laughs> 
at least my first scheduled. I don't know if something's going to pop up in between now and April 9th. But, right? Uh, life can still happen. Life can still so happen. So far. Yeah, so far. It's your worst As day of so now. far. Yes. This is only the worst day of your life so far. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Moon Eyes 2K, what's the first video I saw of Odin's on the channel? Well, since I started watching at DIY Prop Shop, I'd have to say the blue shell. Hey, that's nice. right there. It is right over there, yes. Uh, Garrett Wittenberg, I can see what you are talking about. The stone sharpener is always near me when working. Ah, nice. Yes, when you showed me that trick of sharpening the blade uh -huh. as we go. Oh, it was a game changer. My life was so much easier because <laughs> I hate unsharp. I hate dull scissors. It's amazing you can feel it when you're cutting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shady O's with the 499 Super Chat. The wow. video posted was great. Oh, good. And, and I like the twins. Oh, yes. The twins were great. I'm glad they made it onto the video. Uh, what's funny is they're not twins. So what we're talking about are uh, Victoria and Reese. Uh, they were... Um, the twins, not twins, that helped out with uh, uh, cosplay repair at SAC Anime. They're going to be back again, I believe, in, in uh, this upcoming first weekend of September. I want to say Labor Day because it's easy for me, but Labor Day is only a holiday in, in oh, America. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Oh, it's today Martin Luther King Jr. Nice. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yeah. So the very first weekend in September um, uh, is going to be the next SAC Anime, and they're both going to be there. Um, and yeah, they're not twins because they're like three years age difference, but oh, they cosplay twins I used to really tell people well. <laughs> that my little brother was my twin. Okay. His birthday was August 6th and my birthday was August 7th, but I'm two years older. Right. <laughs> but I told everybody we were twins and people believed us. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, they cosplay as twins all the time and nail it. <laughs> right. Um... Bruce Marvel 88. Hey, Odin and Felicia. The Seamus helmet would be a cool build. Felicia would make a good Seamus. Yes. We did that for Brittany, didn't we? We did. For like a Smosh thing, but we just used, I borrowed somebody else's cosplay. It was fun. Right. We did the Zero Suit, I think, with Brittany. Yeah. Which is a, a, a bit we of an easier one. We gave her a camel one. toe. Uh, yes, that we did. That was a very specific aspect of that costume that was like... It was a line in the song, right? So we had to do it to... Uh, yeah, it was... Yeah. You know, the interesting pr things that are thrown... Uh-huh, at a wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Our direction in general. But I really enjoyed that shoot. It was a lot of fun because it that felt like I was shoot. playing video games in real life because we'd get the characters ready, dressed up, put them out on the set, and then they're like this, ready to go. Uh-huh, yeah, doing the And we're sitting the there watching stands. the monitors, and I'm like, God. It's working, yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. I'm that not going fun. to lie. But some... It, all happened so fast that it's like, oh wait, right. yeah, that did happen, and then that was fun. We did do that, and now that's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'd be down for more. It's just, yeah. <laughs> so many costumes, it's like, well, what now? <laughs> right. So where are you going to go from here? I'll just keep making costumes that are interesting, interesting to me. They may not, I'm not going to one-up myself every time, because that's, that's a no-win scenario. No, it's just kind of what captures my fancy at the moment because I know I can make anything happen. So it's like, what do I really want to make happen right now? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. And then what kind of details and what do I need it to do and what kind of properties does it have to have and how much work do I want to put into it versus how much do I just want to throw money at the problem? Acceptable. <laughs> you know, the thing, like, why am I making this in the first place? Because mm -hmm. I want to make it or because they want it and I can't find anything that I already to my anyways. Or is it just a fun challenge because of some aspect of it? And is it still going to be fun once that aspect has been solved? <laughs> I'm stuck on a problem right now because of that. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And I've got a garage full of projects. Not so much. A lot of them have been cleared out. But I had a garage full of projects that had some aspect that I wanted to figure out that was, that was, that was the project. And once that was done, I just never finished it because I was done with it. Yeah, I stopped buying projects for a while. Like, I haven't bought a project in a while. And I bought one recently, and I was this close to abandoning it. <laughs> bought a project. Well, you know, the fabric for the project. Oh, okay. That makes like, sense. Once I am, like, I can pattern all day long, but once I invest in the... <laughs> Materials get, and supplies. Right. right. Once you got some monetary put into it. Because I don't buy projects. I don't buy. 
okay. the stuff and I'm going to make it one day because that just is too much stuff to hold on to. Like, I've learned my lessons. Many a times have I cleaned out going, I'm not going to have a fabric stash. <laughs> That's a <laughs> lie. Bold face lie. Bold face lie. <laughs> Liar! Liar! <laughs> so I just have been trying not to cut by projects until I'm actually like, okay, I'm to the point where it's just actually going to happen. I bought the fabric and I went, mm, you know what? <laughs> I don't know if... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I just want to switch fabrics. I don't think I like the fabric that I picked out as much, to tell you the honest truth. Right. If I know which project you're talking about, I understand. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, so we got a lot of things hidden. A lot of things hidden? I don't know. Oh. Showed high. Let's see. Can you shout out my channel? It's it's Gian9999. No. Can I make one of those things? No. Actually, I have for Smosh. I've made a number <laughs> yes! of those. Yes! And it's so, right over there. And so, it's purple. So, Sturgio is asking about, you know, can I make a Marilade? And it's like, well, um, yeah, but it's a repeat of that. And yeah, I, uh, it's, it's funny how many, you know, how many dick jokes Smosh had and how many artificial dicks I made for Smosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, people think that they'd shock me with the costumes I've had to come up with. Not just Smosh. Yeah. Costume shop. Like, it's this. No. Like, yeah, we've made dick egg costumes. Right. Yeah. I uh, have multiple I'm, patterns. They've rented all, like, weekends in a row. Like, it's... There's a, there's a people, weapon right. from Saints Row the Third. I'm sure you know it, called the, the Penetrator. Um, it's a meter long, it's the size of a bat. That's hanging up over there because I had to make one for Smosh. It was blurred out because, well, you can't show that on YouTube. So guess what? It's over there, not being shown on YouTube still. Um, well, made that's... a flip phone. Remember that Noah had to work with it. Yeah, because it, it was a joke off of a uh, Japanese product. And speaking of Noah. Speaking of Noah. <laughs> well, there was that joke when he had to be the cat and lick himself. And we oh, made, there's that, and yeah. He ended up having to blur it out. They're like, well, <laughs> anyways, we had too much fun. I'm just um, going to yeah. say. Yeah, there's Aquaman with a pipe and the uh, center full of the dolphin. Yeah, yep. often <laughs> when costumes and props interact, it was usually a boner joke, right? Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> oh, fun times, right? I, maybe I purposely block the stuff. No. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> just too much, too much. Uh, Noah. So, uh, Noah Grossman, great guy, friendly, Love Noah. enthusiastic. He flew, he was only a performer. You only had to help write the episodes, and he would fly up to Sacramento because he lived in LA. All of the all, all the crew permission yeah. at this point, um, just to perform in the videos, and he'd fly back. Well, he wanted to know what was going on to the crew and what happened with uh, pre production. So one of the, one of the weekends, he flew up early just to help us out. And I think he did it on his own. He wasn't getting paid to be there. He just wanted to participate and see what's going on. Right? <laughs> yeah. He was the only one that I remember doing that. But we did have a lot of fun. We did have a lot of we fun. We had too much fun behind the... <laughs> Right. <laughs> we got our work done, mostly. Um, <laughs> we tried. But there was one... I can't remember what the character Noah was doing. He's basically being a gimp character from, uh, from uh, uh, Pulp Fiction. Oh, yeah, Fiction. he had to go buy his... They had to go buy a ball gag for... Yeah, on uh, Valentine's for Day. And I was, uh, it was on Valentine's because Day. He, I was in the store to buy this ball gag for Noah when I, was I realized that it, was Noah's birthday. <laughs> I remember that because yeah. I ran out of time and I really needed it and you caught it. Yeah, all right, I'll go get it, sure. <laughs> That's also one of those things, is it a co proper or a costume, because is he wearing it when he enters the scene or when he's already in the scene, and it's also the whole, can you just get that for me because I just need some help? Right. Yeah, no, I absolutely love Noah. Like, oh, I yeah. love Noah and Keith and all of them, like, so for much. Sure. It was a genuinely a family yeah. thing, and it, we had too much fun, and... I remember the first shooting day with Olivia. Uh, it was, um, uh, she was just... Whatever the character she was playing, right? Yeah. Because she she was there. She was very quiet. She was she was she was like, okay, I'm doing this thing. I mean, fairly professional and, and try not to be in anyone's way. And the cameras are rolling, and he has and she has to come out and get upset with Ian who's cutting the lawn wrong, right? And just okay, it's just uh, yeah, it's a really <laughs> just nailed it. It was and great. On. <laughs> yeah. And off. And All right, on. I'm going to go get my cup. <laughs> yep, that was great. Uh, I love that they were good at what they did. Mm -hmm. It was appreciative. It was appreciative. Yeah, because when you work with people who aren't good at what they do, it's frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> but I appreciate that they were always a pleasure to be around. So, yes. Yes. We enjoyed our time. Moon Eyes 2K says, whoever dies with the most fabric wins, Felicia. <laughs> no. Too much fabric. 
too much fabric. But there's always like the really cool ones where they like, have a nice like 70s psychedelic print or something yeah. like you're just. But then I also discovered you can print your own fabric, so that took a lot of pressure off. Yes. But at the same time, am I going to? Depends. On the project, yep. Uh, there's a. It's been making me sad. My fabric sources are switching. Pandemic is crazy. Pandemic is crazy. Yeah, my fabric sources, they're changing. Where you source things. Sorry. Okay. Do you want to elaborate on this at all? No, like, um, the... I used to go down to Michael Levine's in, in um, Southern California. Okay. Because they had the best fabric selection. <laughs> like, the best. And then across the street in their upholstery, you could buy it by the pound. Oh, nice. Like, clearance. Like, I love their store so much. Now you can only buy their stuff online. Oh, they close their... Their actual retail business. Like, it made me sad well, how because... Can you I buy was... by the pound if you can't... It even... doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Oh, man. So, my, one of my favorite fabric sources of when I would go down to Southern California, I would always go yeah. visit there and stock up on things I don't need. Yeah. Like, they have great suiting weight fabrics. Like, oh, my God. Anyways. <laughs> um, things you're not going to find at a regular fabric store. You would totally find there. Like, yeah. especially if I got something specific in my head. <laughs> I could find it there, but they don't exist anymore, and it made me sad thinking about that. They still exist. Right, but the foot, the brick but, and mortar doesn't exist anymore. But going in and going in, yeah, that's, so things are changing. But my favorite sa fabric stores here in Sacramento still exist. That's good. So, but still. So, uh, it's one o'clock. Is it one o'clock? It is one o'clock. And... I have some. We have viewer mail? We have viewer mail. Yes, I've got some viewer mail that Strict Aphid sent to me. Oh, cool. And that arrived last week. So, um, yeah. Pretty sure it was Strict Aphid. If it wasn't, <laughs> hopefully it says on the inside. So you I've got, got a... Uh, got mail! If anyone wants to send uh, viewer mail for whatever reason, and no one's required to, but there is a P.O. box listed in the description of the video. That's my P.O. box. Go right ahead. We'll open it up on air. There seems to be two little boxes. Mm -hmm. and it looks like there's more than just... Wow. All right. So we have uh, three things here. Joe, Odin, and, and Felicia. Felicia. Do you want to hit number four at all? Or? Four. Cut. Uh, four's tiny, I guess, still. Sorry. Maybe. Fancy little boxes. Fancy little boxes. Maybe we do the thing here, we do three, right? I'm seeing the logo. Oh, it's Tinderbox. Oh, handmade in Virginia. Virginia. Well, I'll set Joe's aside. Go ahead and go back to one. Do we want to open up ours? Let's open them up. All right. This is kind of cool. Ooh. Oh. oh, thank you, Strict Aphid. It says behind the scenes fashions. I love it. I was thinking about that name this morning and how much it really does <laughs> fit what I do. But yes. Behind the scenes fashions. This is cool. I love it. Odin makes. It. Odin makes. That's too legit to quit. And then on the back it says, Merry Christmas, Strict Aphid. So I remember it correctly. Yay! <laughs> and Happy Late Christmas from Strict. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. It's really cool. Right? When I, I coached when I gymnastics, <laughs> one of the little kids gave me a little keychain like this. Oh, yeah? That's a, that had a gymnast on it. And I was like, Merry Christmas, Coach Felicia. Oh, that's cool. Like, I still have it. It's like one of my favorites. And I was like, that is a really great little idea with keychains. This is a really great little idea. And it, it feels you. like it's laser etched. This is really cool. Right? Yeah, this is really cool. So, so Joe will have to come and open his. Joe has to come and open his. So it's like a text Joe and see if we can open his. Yeah, Joe. So let me just do that real quick. That way we can see, we can see what Joe got. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Strict Aphid. Yeah, thank you. This is really neat. Yes. Strict Aphid is asking, have you received anything from your P.O. box? I wonder why he was asking that. I wonder why he was asking that. <laughs> thank you very much. 
Um, BDS says, I have got an idea, a Green Lantern's ring. And we've talked about that. That's too tiny for a prop for Odin. Pretty much, unfortunately. It gets down to a certain size and it, and yeah, sure. But I can't really make a video out of it. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be sculpting it probably the way you'd want to sculpt a ring out of either a really hard monster clay or out of wax and then casting it. I mean, it's, or I could 3D print it, you know, like the pin arrow. Did which, you print it? Which, there's nothing wrong with that, but there's a certain point of it's it's so small that, well, I, I made this object, printed this object, and painted this object. I'll make a big foam arrow to go with it. That <laughs> way I got a whole video. <laughs> um, Mojo Reza McFly says, super cool crafting over there. We're trying. Um... Guy with green hat says, I'm using the information from Dr. Stans and Dr. Spring Spangler, as well as the ah. as enchantment. Huge thanks to Steve and Alex to create the first of its kind. So I think he's the one that's making the proton pack in Minecraft. Oh, uh, okay. Are you sending that to Joe? Yes, there we are. Is that his? No, that one's mine. I didn't. I want to see what his says. Exactly. That's why I'm. That's why I'm texting him now to say, "Hey, can we open up your box?" <laughs> that's cool. It's one of those things that uh, I oftentimes at a con will wear one of my uh, pins. I've got like a mm -hmm. lapel pin, a little a, a, a closet A pin. I'll put one on either on my collar or on my badge. This is something I can always put on my badge. It's kind of cool. Came from the badge. Yep. More, more, more con bling. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I do believe when I posted that uh, I'll be at the uh, con in uh, Oklahoma, Strict immediately said, hey, that's only a nine hour drive for me. <laughs> I think. Nine this, hours is this, not that bad for a drive, honestly. No, because Cheeseaholic and Strict both responded. One was 17 hours, one was nine hours. Now I'm not remembering which was which. And if they're on their way to, you know, if they're in the same line, that could work out because one could drive eight, they could pick up the other, and they can carpool the rest. But not if they're coming, yeah, that, that wouldn't work. No, <laughs> but get a good playlist. Get a good playlist. I was listening to Books on Tape driving to Stockton yesterday. In fact, I missed my, my turn off because I was listening to a book. <laughs> Got through a whole series. Yeah, geez, I can digest those books like they're nothing when you're on. Right. Yeah. Especially when I'm sitting and hemming. Uh-huh. Tedious little tasks like this. <laughs> Cutting right. things out, right? Buzz. I'm moving it, so it's pointing back at me again. Mm. So now I'm going to cut out the inner circles because I'm happy with the size that I got. But what I want to do is take the outer circle to the parts I'm going to keep. I'm going to push the camera forward. Because that way this won't rotate because what will happen is the blade will catch and it'll just start spinning the circle. Sounds like that's happened before. Oh, it has. It's not fun. <laughs> Especially when you only cut exactly the, the amount you need and now you effectively ruined one of them because it moved and you didn't want it to move. Now you have to try and guess where the, the drop down guide is going to be versus the ink dot. We'll see if I can't make a cyclotron frame. Hmm. I have one extra for each pack right now. And it already looks like it's offset. Oh, maybe not. It's just distortion. Right? It's like... No, it's a little offset. That's the problem I end up with. I, yeah. get, I get googly eyes you a lot. You do get googly eyes, don't you? Yep. Let's see if i got a 30 millimeter in these. Or to give me more control. Ah, Joe says, yeah. We can open That's it. That's cool. We can open it. Joe says, yes. We don't even have to switch cameras. We don't have to switch cameras. What's Joe say? What's Joe say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, hit, hit two or three. <laughs> we, we are. Oh, well, we're on four. It's awfully far. Do something that's close. There you go. <laughs> Joe is always sus. Sus. This is bleeding letters, too. Let me get this out of the bag. This is great. <laughs> so 
So this is reference to the Minecraft game because Joe is always sus. Now I'll take a picture of this and send it to Joe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Miss Mary Max says, amazing, love it. Ralph Mork, LOL. And wait, I'm learning to heal. Says, noise. <laughs> If any of you want to get in on playing uh, the Among Us game with us, we still have yet to get a full 15-player lobby. Um, it is open to everybody who's got uh, who's part of my Patreon that's on the Discord level, Discord access level. So uh, just check out patreon.com slash odinmakes, and you can see how you can be part of uh, our weekly Among Us games that happen on Fridays at 11 uh, Pacific time, and um, you'll be on the you'll your voice will be heard on the live stream because we like to live stream at this point, and we actually get a pretty good audience for playing a video game on a crafting channel. Yeah, but that's awesome, Strick. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, do, do, do. what did people say? BDS says, fun fact about me, my dream card is a 1970 Dodge Charger. RT, oh. the Fast and the Furious. But every time you hear 1970s, I think, well, 1969, you might as well, because it's the better engine over the, but 70s has the better body. But um, Was it 70s Charger, he says? Yeah, or? 1970. Okay. So I'm just saying a 1969 Charger, not 70 Charger. My dad <laughs> just had that. Very, sure. Yeah. How much of that is Dukes of Hazard too? True. Were they chargers? No, those were chargers. Those, those were chargers. Were... That was... was it? I don't remember. Whatever my brother it was, had they got one of those so in rare high to find. They started. Yeah, my brother had an orange car that looked like the General Lee in high school, and oh my god, did he drive like an asshole. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Joe just says, knew it. <laughs> well, he knows he's sus. Yeah, he knows he's sus. <laughs> That's also just strict. That's great. That's really great. Thank you. Oh, Groot Grusin says, oh, that's a creepy angle. If you're that whole phobic, the table is covered by... S oh, if you got trichophobia or whatever, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was a real thing, but I It is a it. real thing. It is a Reddit thread if you want to go down a particular rabbit hole. No, I'd rather not. I've All done right. enough of those. <laughs> um, seems a pretty strange thing. I'm good. Oh... Kuroshi, featuring Fat Graf, still butchering your name, says Among Us is such a fun game. It is a fun game. Bruce Marvel 88, have you thought about do making any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff? I, I have thought about one. it. TM, TNMT is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, TMNT, yeah. Teenage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, but they have yeah. the N first, so wouldn't the N be Teenage Mutant Ninja, MN, not NN? Is it, do they have T and M T? Yeah, T N M T. So that's why it was. It's probably a typo. Yeah, that's yeah. why. But Teenage I was like, Ninja guessing. Mutant Turtles. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying right. to figure out. Like, am I doing the right thing? Well, well, or could, is there another thing that I'm that they're shortening and I'm just going Ninja Turtles in my brain? It, it could be T N M P. No, there's no P. It's because there's a T-shirt. Remember, it was Teenage uh, Neutered Midget Poodles. Ooh, poor poodles. <laughs> mm-hmm. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. Yes. That's what it was supposed to I be. I did want to assume because I feel like there's no, lots of random fandoms and this I is true. don't know half of them. And I will admit that. I don't either. <laughs> mm -hmm. And sometimes I do know them, but I don't know that. The... I don't know the details. Right. I know of them. Yeah. Because there's fandoms I know. There's fandoms I know of, and then there's a lot of fandoms I have no clue. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Totally. So this is not wow, a piece. Wow, this is dull. <laughs> this is not... How do you sharpen that? Um, what I've been doing is uh, I take one of the stones for the Dremel, or, or one of the rotary tools. Uh, at this point, I'm actually grabbing one of the Ryobi stones. And um, I just use that as, as a... Oh, that's like nails on chalkboard. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Stephen Deitch. Odin, what are you using now to cut circles? <laughs> now I'm using a cheap Amazon leather cutting uh, circle cutter. So this is just a, it's a set of circle cutters for, for cutting a leather. A biscuit cutting set. It could be a biscuit cutting set, yeah. With sharp blades. Well, some of them, some of them are, some of them aren't anymore. Right. How many times have you actually used them? Apparently, I'm dulling this one as much as sharpening. Actually, it is cutting better. I did help it. Yeah. I wonder. Just trying to get a good, accurate donut cut where you're not oblong. Which I don't know how you can see this is off, right? This is the center is not centered. Well. Usually measure in from the sun. I don't know. Like right. Well, that's the 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 drop down for for the circle cutter is a really good guide. It's not spot accurate because uh, no, because if you were going at around the center of the center, then yeah. So that'll work. But have something that's gonna be a little easier. Yeah, this one has the cakey edges because it does definitely dull. It's definitely dull and. Um, because it's a it's a manufactured ring that's been spot welded together, the the edges don't match up, so it's actually got a bit of a bite. And there's no way to avoid it because they're they're offset. So if you spin one way, the outside catches. If you spin the other way, the inside catches. So either way, you're hosed. Mm -hmm. Neil Leifer says I've seen Evil Ted use an exacto blade to sharpen a hole cutter. Oh really? That sounds like nails on a chalkboard. That sounds interesting. I wonder how well that works. I was Probably thinking well. um, sandpaper on a dowel. Yeah. But I don't know. And I also it's feel... Like, worse. I don't know. After I sharpened my um, titanium scissors, I've been kind of off of sharpening things other than just blades. Right. Because you can't... You shouldn't... You should not sharpen titanium scissors because you will dull them. Yeah. You're not sharpening them, you're dulling them because you're taking off the titanium surface. Right. And then therefore they will no longer cut nicely. Yeah. Although if you have a good pair of titanium ones, they can go from cardboard to silk so seamlessly. Yes. And I love it and that's why I have them. But as soon as you sharpen them, nope. Done. 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 I have new paper scissors. What's that? Said I have new paper scissors. You have new paper scissors, right. Probably not helping, but I'm trying. Helping. Huh. So yeah, you're trying to make sure. Huge difference. <laughs> Sharpening right. things. Sharpening things. So are these anything we need to hold on to? I don't know. Do they fit any of these other sizes? <laughs> right. I mean, at least it's just from from a die cutter, so it's something I can go to a box and open up again. Okay, well, it fits the size. And you need six of them, so you have three. Okay. Well, I'll be cutting out at least nine more. Well, at least, yeah, at least nine more past that one. <laughs> so this is number 43. Here's 33, and I will actually cut this out to help me gauge where the middle is. So may I have that? This. Yes. Thank you. All yours. Um. Captain Carl says, "Hey, Odin." Hello, Captain Carl. Ralph Morse is getting it Carl coffee, the King? He'll be back. Nope, C A R L. Okay. Carl. Yeah. All good. Nothing. Nothing wrong with that. I uh, happen to remember Captain Carl. He never goes by that, but that's Carl Miller from Warp Eleven. So, first, first person that comes to mind for Captain Carl. Captain Carl. Forty-three. 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 I know, we're actually doing stuff, so it gets quiet. This is why I didn't craft much last weekend. <laughs> last week. Oh, look at perfect fit. Oh, nice. Okay. 
So, some of your fans want to drive over, but there's like an ocean in the way. That happens. But it's there's annoying. no ocean in Oklahoma. No. So, at least there's that. So, they're, they're fans from somewhere further out. There was a point in time, way back in like 2018, um, I was invited to do a creator con in Manchester. London, oh, you know, England, Manchester, England, London. Manchester's mm -hmm. not London, it's a different city. Anyway, sorry. Um, obviously, I wasn't quite able to go because that was one where uh, I had to foot my own travel bill, and at that point in time, I could not do that. <laughs> right? Yeah. But hopefully, with things uh, opening up and, and slowly getting back to where they were, because there's a lot more cons coming up than there was the last two years. Hopefully, maybe. I'll be on the right side of the pond at some point. Oh. Schultz Division says, Odin, have you considered having a kind of podcast with your Patreon builders on Discord talking about building? Could spot some really nice combos. Don't you guys do build talk every once in a while? There is a build talk that happens every once in a while, yeah. yeah. Um, so kind of happens. It's kind of happens. I'm not, I'm not always on there. In fact, I haven't been on there in a while. Because uh, the build talk always ends up happening when I'm trying to get something else done. Right. Um, you actually have to do all this work for other projects. Yeah. But make it look like it happens like that. Exactly. Unfortunately. Um, but yeah. And there is, uh, there is thoughts of another podcast um, in, in the works that we would include the Patreons with. Yeah. So... Blue Knight says, pod stream happened last week. Of course, there wasn't much build talking, but you know. <laughs> no, there wasn't much build talking either. It was a great pod stream. <laughs> I hear people very much enjoyed the pod stream. I think so, yes. Yes. Oh, look it. It's like you have your template figured out. I hope so. Hope so. A whole so. Uh -huh. No, you're not. You're off. <laughs> Actually, it's bigger. Oh, okay. Yeah, even though I was in the assumption this wasn't going to change, it apparently did. Maybe I didn't tighten it enough. Maybe I tightened it too much and made it loose. <laughs> Circles. Circles. Right. Left. Center. <laughs> Center. That's the one that we really want. Speaking of Manchester, did you know that the fabric corduroy is named Manchester over here in Sweden? Oh. Interesting. No. Oh. Corduroy. Yeah. I like how fabrics get their names. Mm hmm It's always fascinating to me. Stephen Hall says, I personally enjoyed the pod stream. Oh, well, good. So. I think, I think a few people enjoyed the pod stream. So this one's a good one. Mm -hmm. Do we need the centers? Uh, that was the one you were you're numbering. That also the, worked for this size. Yeah. Okay, good to know. That's why I was wondering. This is a key, like those are all we're not talking about yet. But right. This all here gets. Those all there can be kept. labeled. Yeah. This doll's in a hurry. <laughs> yes, it does. This is 33, and this is garbage. <gasps> Don't catch blades. Just let it hit the floor. <laughs> That's how you cut yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking from experience. Yeah, I had those really strong coaching reflexes. <laughs> two for one at least. Right? Really cutting out pieces now. <laughs> hmm. So the Stockton Con was a lot of fun. I was upstairs on the, on the fun deck, which isn't why it was necessarily fun. But uh, I was right across the hall from C. Andrew Nelson again. He is... Uh, 
He was an ex Lucasfilm employee. He was a visual mm -hmm. artist, but also had exactly the same body size as David Prowse. So he wore the Darth Vader costume and all the oh, pickup yeah, shops. Oh yeah, talked about yeah. him before. Super nice guy. So it's it's really fun. He's actually working on a uh, audio drama story that's going to be on YouTube about um, uh, superheroes and and uh, what is it? It was kind of complicated, but you sort of want that if you're doing a serial. Um, had to do with superheroes with their powers, and then some were losing their powers, and, and things are taking over, and how everything's all interconnected. I don't know. It, was, it sounded neat when he's talking about it, and they're still in production making it. And the vo the voice of, of uh, SAC Anime, Joe Diaz, the, the fellow who does all of the announcing, um, he was talking at one point about how he was looking at doing voice acting. And he may get to do a small part on, on this uh, podcast, which is kind of cool. So I appreciate when others do well, for sure. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, this is 43, and I misread my own number, so I started writing 45. <laughs> Does it fit 43? Yes, it's 43, and I've just been writing 45 oh. because I misread my own handwriting, and oh. I'm laughing, and I'm glad I double-checked. <laughs> well, there's only 45 so a circle anyway, so yeah, but we're not going to confuse it too much. But still, I'm just, if I can't read my handwriting, what are, what hope do we have? <laughs> 43. I was like, 45 doesn't sound right. <laughs> <sighs> Shock. 43. Okay, let's see. Dean Fryzer Dunn 18 says, Hey Odin, I don't know if you remember me, but your channel is fantastic. I can't watch the whole live stream on Mondays, but I watch them afterwards while I craft. Keeps nice. me motivated. Awesome. Yes, I do remember. Dean Fryzer Dunn. Yes. Because <laughs> I totally mispronounced that before. Uh huh. Yes. No, I, I actually kind of like just background stuff going on while I'm working. I hate it when it's quiet and I feel alone. Yeah. That's the most unmotivating thing. Yeah, because then so. I could be curled up in bed being funky watching YouTube videos, honestly. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and that's actually something I run into often with um, shooting my videos because I'm, you know, shooting sh shooting with the intent of using the footage, which means I can't have background noise on. Right. And it's getting really, yeah. Okay, these ones are all labeled correctly. I oh, that's good. Misread one of my threes as a five, and now all of them are, now they're correctly labeled. We needed six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, and so we need one more set of six. So ding, fries are done. Uh, I remember an old Dr. Demento song that was about fast food, and, and, and the chorus was ding, fries are done. And if I remember right, it was done to Carol the Bells. It was a parody of, of Carol the Bells, all about getting burnt and, and getting hurt and trying to make fast food and burning stuff. And yeah. <laughs> Safety third, people. Safety third, ding, fries are done, ding, fries are done. Yeah. Go to the freezer, get the box, and ding, fries are done. Now I want fries. <laughs> We're getting there. Half an hour. Right? We have X1 Sim Racing. Greetings from Germany. Hello in Germany. Hello in Germany. Um, Leon Arsenu, whose costume are you making the proton pack for? We're making a pair of proton packs. We get to double all the parts because we're both going to have one. Right, because we're both going to run around like Ghostbusters. Yeah. Who are you going to call? Hopefully real Ghostbusters. Hopefully real Ghostbusters. Right? Yeah, and uh, chances, you know, talking with the 916 Ghostbusters being the Sacramento Ghostbusters because 916 is the Sacramento area code, I bet we could get them to come on and help us with wiring some of this stuff. I bet you anything. You think they'd want to come play? <laughs> they'd probably want to come play, yeah. <laughs> I'm down for having more friends. How many do we need of these ones? Uh, four. Four, so we need eight total, yeah. Yep, I, sh I should have ten going here. Because these are the... Just backups. These are the little circles, and these are the frames for, for the uh, cyclotron lights. Yeah. So this is also the hole that's going to go in the big piece that you talked about. This is the same hole. <laughs> so, it needs to work. It needs to work. Kind of, hopefully. Um... So, Emilio Wor Wor Tico 
Sorry, I completely butchered your wow, name. Wow, this is... Hey, Odin, what's that silver thing on the back shelf? I might be wrong, but it looks like the chest burster containment cylinder. This guy up here? That is the chest burster containment cylinder. It's actually plugged in so because it's glowing. So it's not easy for me to... Um, show off. To show off. Let's see. While you're not on camera three... You can readjust camera three yeah. so you don't make people sick. Hopefully. Yes. I don't really want to make people sick. Yeah. People are asking. Andrew Pinecone says, Peacone. Pico? Said, I don't know. Sorry about butchering your name. Make the ghost trip. Ghost trap, please. Hey, ghost trap, all right. Well, we'll, we'll and then Groot Grusin says, I think Odin's made the ghost trap. Has it, T? No, no, I have not. No, the ghost trap was made on DIY Prop Shop by Dustin McLean. I did not make the uh, ghost trap myself. So, In fact, this is probably the first Ghostbusters prop I've really worked on. You know, actually put effort into, right? There was a point in time way back in the day that uh, I was kind of trying to do that. It didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, but... It's eventually going to happen. It, it slowly is happen. happening because we are slowly making progress on this, the proton packs, and then right. we have to get the outfits, and then we have to have a trap, and yeah. Yeah, all, it's all going those, to happen. All the things. All the things. Well, let's see. I've got a choice between. Uh, it's a tiny thing in the center, which is Camera probably good three. enough. Camera three. Yeah. All right, cutting. Cutting. So the tiny thing in the center. So yes, it is. There's the. Uh, in fact, you can see some of the other stuff that's up on the wall, usually outside of uh, the frame. We've got um, from DIY Prop Shop. Yeah, this is the containment uh, cylinder with with the uh, the face sucker that I made. Uh, we got Ash's chainsaw with some stuff for Freddy and Jason and machetes. Um, yeah, stuff. And then Captain Marvel's pretty lights. dusty. <laughs> What's that? Captain Marvel's pretty dusty. Captain Marvel's pretty dusty, yeah. <laughs> Cutting back to one. All right. Forehead. <laughs> Five head. Five head. Six head. Um, so, Zero Chorus. Sorry, butchered your name again. So, it's pretty quiet there at the moment. What kind of music do you normally listen to while making things? Normally, I'm not listening to music. If I'm upstairs, I listen to um, instrumental type music. I listen to, it, it could be movie soundtracks, it could be electronic music, it can be, you know, groovy, funky music, it can, it can be industrial, you know, whatever. Um, crystal method, uh, hybrid, uh, junior reactor, stuff like that. Um... That's, a, that's typically what I listen to um, because lyrics get stuck in my head and I don't like having six words on loop in my head all day. So I don't generally listen to lyrical music much anymore. That isn't to say that I don't like it. I just don't listen to it. <laughs> How about you? Um, depends on my mood. That's 100% It really 100% depends on my mood. If I feel like I'm dragging, I'll put on something poppy and dancing and yeah. crazy. And that usually gets me up and moving around. But if I want to... S I can't do sleepy, slow music. Like, if a really slow, like, ballad mm -hmm. comes on, I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to go to sleep. But I can't do this. And so I can't do that. Right. Like, I can't do... But, um, yeah. I sometimes will just put on YouTube... Mm -hmm. background cleaning music and <laughs> right let that stuff kind of go crazy and sometimes I get into stuff if I'm actually like trying to make progress on a project otherwise I listen to lectures like I know it takes me three hours to hem a dress so I know I can take sit through one class and it's going to be three hours and by the time I'm done with my project I will be done with the thing and so nice you know Random things. Sometimes I listen to this, you know, cringe while I'm hemming, go, oh, it's three hours. It'll three be hours. done when it's done. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> I will listen to uh, some of Adam Savage's uh, when he's talking about stuff. Oh, yeah, totally do that, yeah. too. Yes. I am definitely an Adam Savage fan. And then another podcast I like is 99% Invisible, which I found out through Adam Savage. So I listen to that one. Yeah. 
I don't know. I went through this like rabbit hole and I've been listening to like Natalie Lawyer chick. <laughs> oh, she's great. <laughs> I love it. You know, you get onto these tangents uh -huh. <laughs> while you're working and then it's like down the rabbit hole. Down the rabbit hole. One for six millimeter foam. All right. Groot Grusen says, I feel for you guys. All these requests of making stuff right after you just started a whole new project, just at, as at my work. You have 20 different projects at the same time and more knocking on the door. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah. And on occasion, uh, I'll get somebody like on Instagram who's who's throwing out a ton of projects and then really upset that I haven't done any of them. It's like, I'm only taking suggestions. I'm not taking, you know, work requests. Right? <laughs> it's like, I'm here because I want to, not because I have to. <laughs> Pretty much. I kind of have to at this point. I'm sort of committed, but, uh, but, yeah. but yeah. thought about it. I haven't quite, you know, committed to doing that one yet. I know uh, William Shakespeare made one. Yeah. Of course, I know the best ones I've seen were the ones that Volpin made from Volpin Props. He's, you know, he legitimately made like Daft Punk helmets with, with, with molds and fiberglass and vacuum metallicizing and, and the wiring and, and he, the helmets he made are indistinguishable from the actual Daft Punk helmets. Too legit to quit. Uh-huh. Can appreciate. Yeah, Volpin's got a great. Uh, um, he came from a auto body uh, background where perfect is the only thing you can be. <laughs> because oh, when, you, yeah. when you get the high gloss, high chrome, and it got the light racing across it, you want you don't want it to go. Hey, <laughs> yeah, no, my uncle did that. Yeah. He used to do like really good work. It was so sparkly. Yeah. Andrew Pecon says, I can really appreciate you both. I built a one-to-one -one proton pack from scratch out of MDF, aluminum, PVC, Ooh. and resin. It took 18 months with full lights and sound. Yep. I don't expect this project to take 18 months. I'll probably eat those words. But <laughs> this is definitely a project that's going to take a while to get done. And yeah. uh, if we're going to be adding stuff to it, um, yeah. Yeah. You know, this one I'm no <laughs> Yeah, I'm in no rush. Um, yeah. yeah, this is definitely a project that's gonna take a while. I want to just enjoy it, because uh, it's been a background bucket list project. Right? You've yeah. had those Alice packs since the <laughs> movie came out. Yeah, pretty much. I've had the Alice packs for a while. And then I've had other bits and pieces that I wanted to use for a while. So I'm not in the spirit of true cosplaying. Uh, the PKE meter I bought like the first year I started. Somebody very early on. This is on sale right now on eBay. It's like, okay, I'll go get it. Cool. Ten bucks. I can buy that. Right. So we're going to be doing this for a while. It takes a lot of work. Mm -hmm. We like to pretend it doesn't, but it really does. Oh, my goodness. Dave Moore says, I'm approaching my second year on my Proton build. Yep. It has to be right. Yep. <laughs> Moon Eye says, do it slow, do it right, enjoy the process. Yes. Sometimes I have to remind myself in crafting that the joy is in the journey. Like, uh -huh. I actually enjoy, like, making this. Like, I picked this project because I wanted to crochet or I wanted to sew. Right. I like doing building Yeah, I crafting. like doing Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this, this is, this is, it's a fun process. <laughs> Sometimes I think, do I really just like designing more? Well, of course I love designing more and building more, but you actually have to go through the work and make it happen. <laughs> mm. Uh-oh, what's that? No, it's... You're on. 
Oh, wait, nope, you're off because you're on here, but you're off there. Yeah, I'm off over there. And then I'm also realizing I'm doing the large circle first, which I don't want to do. You really, wanted to start with I'd the... rather start with the small circle, yeah. Although, yeah, that's all right. Oh. Bulletproof Kevlar says, I'm currently working on a Japanese Spider-Man web shooter gauntlet, but it's challenging adding the metallic sticker sheets to make it reflect like the 70s show. Any tips? Yeah. Ooh, I like that you're using the sticker sheets, the metallic. Mm-hmm. That's Any a really tips? great idea. Patience. There, there isn't, there's no secret if to If they're it. the sticker sheets, could you use the, um, you know how you double stick things? Like you will use the contact cement mm -hmm. on one oh, side. Oh, right. Would and that then, help it stick better if they're already pre-sticky on one? Probably, yes. But also you have to be careful with contact cement because it has boogers. And boogers yes. make bent. So, so you want fresh, thin contact cement. Yeah, no boogers. No boogers. Custom on boogers. And, and even a fresh uh, 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 brush. Yep. Yeah, so Just. that's my recommendation. Also, metal aluminum tape if you don't mm -hmm. have stickers. But I like the idea of using stickers because I feel like you'll get a better sparkle yeah. shine. Yeah, you would. Yeah. The, 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 the easily applied paints don't really exist yet for that. <laughs> Not yet. They try. But we do have stickers. Yeah. And I like stickers. But when you're a grown up, we call them decals, according yes. to the launch pad. He's my favorite. <laughs> uh, Bruce Marble 88 says, get Felicia a flat top wig so she can cosplay as Gozer, lol. <laughs> That's not one of the things I've done before. Yeah. I was trying to think, maybe I. Nope, I don't have that wig. You don't have that? You have the Gozer wig? No, it's purple, not orange. Uh, wow, we have a hello from G Glasgow, Scotland. Really? Joined huh? this channel last month. Love it. And that's Sean Keen. Keen Keenan. Sean. Oh, okay. So, welcome. Awesome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Cut two, right? Cut one. So cut two. Yes. <laughs> right? We. It's that little thing you have to remember. We're doubling it. Uh-huh. Every piece double. Yeah, when I'm patterning, I divide everything into quarters. So everything's divided into quarter measurements. But then there's some that are only half measurements, like the shoulder to shoulder. So just... Mark your stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Label things. So Lord Smiley, Lord Smiley wants to know, what's the plan for the ribbon cable? Back in the 80s, every dead PC had them. But now... Well, in the past when I made the Proton Pack, we ripped open old computers. We just found them at the... Right. Yeah, because you could. Yeah. Exactly what he's saying. Now they're all gray. Yeah. Because they realize they don't need to color code them as long as they know the, the pins at the other end are right. Um, I believe there is the ability to buy the ribbon cable still, and I'm down for that. Yeah, so... So, He's, we'll throw money at the problem and just buy the right one. If yeah. that's not possible, <clears throat> then we can just tape color cables together in a piece of tape like he does on his video. Mm -hmm. That one's not out of the realm of possibility. But I really like the idea of junking an old computer. I like old technology. Yes. I like ripping it apart. I realize I have extended so It's, <laughs> it's not going to cut right. It'll just ruin. Yeah. Leon Arsenu wants to know, Felicia, are you going to be making the jumpsuits for you and Odin, or are you going to go off the shelf? We are going to go to an army surplus store and get yeah. the what they use to base theirs off of, because yeah. that sounds like more fun. Yeah, we'll just go off the shelf. I don't think there's any need to, to make one from scratch. I have yeah. no problems with um, just getting one of the Air Force light-duty uh, jumpsuits replicas. It's fine. Yeah, and... Um, I mean... Again, we can talk to the 916 Ghostbusters. They may they may have something that's more accurate, right? That's just, that looks fine to me, but you know, I didn't realize that the each each member had a slightly different pack. So the detail I didn't pay attention to. Right, it moves always, so fast. Yeah. So how can anyways? But I appreciate that level of detail. I do. I really do. Mm -hmm. Ghostbusters is a movie I always just enjoyed. I looked at how things were made, but I never nitpicked it. So. No, because I just assumed some guys just threw it together, and made it the best they could. And <laughs> right. Function over form. And I'm sure that's exactly pretty much what happened, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's it a bit like easier when you cut the small one first. Yeah. <laughs> Better donuts. Better donuts. Indubitably. Indubitably. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, but I think we're probably going to make like the knee pads and stuff. Probably. Those might end up being by and This one's scratch. a tiny bit off anyway. Yeah, that one is off. That's why I cut three. We only need two that work. Two or but four. Oh, cut one, so. We, we only need one. We only need one and this for what, the project. What piece this number? This is a hose connector, so even the one that's off might work. 34. Yeah. Where are we at? Ah, 15 minutes. Thirty-four. Thirty-three, thirty-four. Thirty-four. And do these dots fit any dots? These ones from those circles. Oh, They're uh, just slightly too small for the this mount. Actually, it's the right size for that one. Do it. How many do we need? 42 cut seven from foam. So if you still have this circle size. I don't. That was the first one I cut. I <laughs> <laughs> well, three of them are the right size. Uh, I was just looking to see if 33 fit anything else and it doesn't. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, but that one's pretty spot on. That one's pretty spot on? All right. <laughs> I should have looked at that before I changed it. Eh. Yeah. Shock mount. Seven. Interesting. Probably not, <laughs> eat those words, probably not super critical. Hmm. We are making donuts and donut holes today. Mm -hmm. I prefer donut holes to donuts. You prefer donut holes to donuts? Mm-hmm. Because I can sit and eat like 12 of those, but I like max out of like one and a half donuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Come on. Andrew Pecone says you can you can't buy the Ghostbusters one, but you can get the Ghostbusters two. Is that the jumpsuits? Is there a difference between the first Ghostbusters jumpsuits and the second Ghostbusters? I jumpsuit? believe so. Yes, I think I think there is. Yeah. I think I, I think I did notice that costume department made it easier on themselves the second time around <laughs> probably is what i um, ultimately go to what kind of problems were they running into that they're like we're not doing again this time right well it's just what's what can we get a hold of you know we're we have this movie we have four characters they're going to go through different stages of, of distress and problem with their with their suits in the film so we need 16 per person to have enough to do the whole movie and not run into yeah so one de-stressed, one non-de-stressed, three right. that are going to get distressed this way, and then three that are going to be distressed post them. The, yeah, yeah. No, I, I understand those problems. Finale version. You're virgin. slightly too small. Wow, really? Is that what it was? We're doing four. Yeah, because now it's this size. We were here. Yeah, it was shock, it was shock mount. We're doing... Oh. No, we already did that. That's this one over here. They're, they're both called shock mounts. Yeah. So... That was this size? All right, but that's fitting 43? Yeah. We already did 43. Yeah, we already have all the 43s, yeah. so you need to just, yeah. At least we didn't let you cut out seven before I told you right. they were off. I appreciate that. 40. That's okay, we have an extra now. So, Moon Eyes 2K says the jumpsuits are all, are all C. WU-27P flight suits in both movies. The only difference is the colors. Okay. Well, I appreciate actually getting what type of flight suit it is. I need to just, just copy and paste that and write it down and see if we can't get a hold of those. <laughs> All right. Copy. Damn it. There we go. They're right there. So it's the green or the khaki. Okay. Well, I kind of want to do khaki. I kind of want to do the... Uh... I want to do them fully distressed. Like, there's oh, yeah. marshmallow guts all over them or something. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, right. I want to do distressed like they fought ghost... Like, it's been sure. a few busts. All, all... I can agree. I don't think I want marshmallow goo on Not it. marshmallow goo, but you know what I mean? Like... But, yeah, they're stained. I want them to be used, not yeah. fresh, yeah. clean. Like, I want to look like they... Like the, when the girl finds them in the cupboard and goes, eat. Uh-huh. I mean, I didn't say anything. Um, 
What were they new? No. They were distressed. Yeah. Yeah. I was just saying she didn't run into old Ghostbusters costumes or anything. I'm oh, not right. spoilers. Oh, right. you're saying. Gotcha. Yeah. You are still slightly smaller, but it works closer. Okay. Ever so slightly too small. Ever so slightly too small. Ever so slightly. Yeah, you are about a millimeter off because these ones were exactly on and these ones are a millimeter off. Of course it was exactly on. I changed it. Uh-huh, of course. <laughs> yeah, that one's too small. So Dave Moore says that they don't do those flight suits in the same material anymore, sadly. Oh, okay. Part of me was secretly hoping that my old um, military resource... Mm-hmm. Could get a hold of some. My old sources still work, you know, like. <laughs> it's possible, but that is something that there's a big enough fandom and a big enough um, thing that, that he may have been. They made the sources may dry up, may have dried up at this point. I know, but like that little hole in the wall, like I like so yeah. many times has he saved my butt <laughs> with his right. military collection that he sells. Like so many times, yeah. But so. I haven't been post. 2020. I think those ones are too small. You have to be slightly bigger. I went slightly big. Well, at this point, the piece of foam's moving too, so it's probably, you know, changing its size because it's moving underneath it while I'm cutting it. Okay, Sojo Bro is wanting to know what is that circle cutter thing? We've been cutting lots of circles today. Yes, and, and, and trying hard to not complain about it the entire time. The circle cutter thing is the uh, Cause Tools circle cutter. And it is a, it's got an adjustable spindle in the center. And then as you crank the handle, the, the blade descends down and, and cuts a circle to whatever size you want. Once you have it set, you can cut a bunch of circles the same size. Now, if you're trying to get it set to an exact specific size. It may take a few tries. It takes a few tries. Mm -hmm. yes. So. Rolling your foam the other way. Rolling the foam the other way. Even though we're just doing tiny dots. Right. Well, the whole thing's going to curl, so. Right. And then I keep uh, also cutting on top of a piece of uh, sacrifice, sacrificial foam um, because uh, it preserves the blade longer. The foam, foam works blades are actually so fine that they get dulled in a real hurry on the cutting mats. So um, using it on another piece of foam, they last longer. Yeah, cutting on cutting mats. Cutting on cutting mats. You think you're doing the right thing, but you still need that foam. Yep, you usually are. Yeah, no, you are, but... No, I'm just thinking of how easily it is to dull a blade. Mm-hmm. Ridiculously. Yep. How's that one? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I think the other one's too small because the, the tape wasn't holding, and so the foam was actually moving while I was spinning it. Well, you can go a millimeter bigger. Okay. I will try. Okay, interesting. Moon Eyes 2K says, the flight suits have been made of Normex now as it was then. Normex has been around since the late 60s. Okay. So what's Normex? That's fascinating. I don't know what Normex is. Like, is it like a poly cotton blend or is it like some kind of military grade? So they call it something fancy, but it's just like... Probably has a tiny bit of like flame retardant. Like rayon or, in it or yeah. something so that it gives it a different like breathability. Like, I'm curious. I'm probably going to do a little more research on like sure. fiber contents now at this point. That one's it. That one's perfect. Okay. Actually, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> that one's too big. I <laughs> You had I'm, I'm exactly, at, I, exactly. I'm at, I'm at a point where it feels imperceptible, the amount of change I'm making. Basically, uh, the act of tightening it is, is changing the size. But look at they're all three different sizes. And those are all oh, those the, are very different sizes. And these are the ones you've been handing me. So okay. yes, it's a millimeter. <clears throat> well, you, you grabbed one that was up here. Yeah, I know. I grabbed that one on purpose. Okay. But <laughs> like, I've been pushing them. But yeah, they're all slightly off. <laughs> so... It depends on what this piece is really needed for. It's a shock mount. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We may be eating our words later. I'm trying. I'm, I'm laughing, but I'm trying. <laughs> I changed it again. 
Bernie Davis says, hi, Felicia and Odin. What did I miss? Did I miss much? We're still figuring out circles. <laughs> Lots of circles today. We are cutting out circles and circles. Yeah, at this point, I need a new blade, which that could also change the... Uh... Well, look at that one's exactly perfect now. Okay. Look at, I see that... No, no, no. Now let me change the blade, which will probably end up changing the thing. Because these... At this point, I'm sure, after cutting so many and it's dull and it's fuzzy on the edge, the edge is going to be visible on these, right? And so I'll end up regretting. <laughs> Sorry. Interesting. Moon Eye says Normex is a meta aramid, so it's a polymer related to, na to nylon. And Normex is flame retardant and rip, resi rip resistant. So if it is related to nylon, that makes a lot of sense because nylon doesn't burn, it glops. Okay. It turns into plastic glops. So if you are wearing like a nylon pajamas, like a mm -hmm. lot of people have had burn injuries because like nylon will shrink and get to or, your skin or, and it's very dangerous. Polyester or nylon? Nylon specifically. Nylon specifically. So don't make okay. children's pajamas out of nylons. Like there's like very strict okay. regulations because of that because it is dangerous and flammable and okay. horrible. But at the same Sounds time. Sounds like it. <laughs> so it's like, it, it's, it's a plastic, but it's also not going to burst up into flames. Okay. So if they have a way to not turn it into um, molten a, goo to kill right. you, it's, I could see it being much better. And then also nylon is um, very strong and very rip 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 resistant. resistant, especially if you, you know how they have those um, grid patterns in uh -huh. fabric sometimes. Those are um, to keep it from ripping so it stops it. Yeah, rip stop. Rip stop because fabric will tear on grain majority of the time and it makes it easy, but then you get that rip stop stuff and it doesn't. Are we still okay? <laughs> yes, and actually sharp looking. It doesn't look like a piece <laughs> of cake. Doesn't look like, yeah, a piece of cake. It doesn't look like a. Yes, forbidden candy. Forbidden candy. Yeah. Aw. First couch gamer says, Odin looks like he's about to snap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a millimeter off, Odin. Unacceptable. Yeah, no. well. <laughs> no, we don't know. It might be acceptable. Who knows? I'm ready for lunch. Right? <laughs> well, we only, it is 2 o'clock. We actually are technically done with the stream. Oh, okay. so. How many more of these do I need? We needed seven, so we need 14. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ten more. <laughs> that, are, that are cut like this anyway. Yeah. So this is my reject pile. These ones will not cut it. <laughs> yeah, there's will not cut, there's acceptable, and then... This one's too small, too. These ones are all too small. One of the things this I need to do perfect. is make a little bin. Um, that one's just ugly. That's fine. <laughs> that's why I'm, I'm trying to cut 14 more one, that are two, with a new three, blade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Um... You get a little bin that we just throw all the discs in because We're going circles to. is one thing that is fully worth keeping a hold of. Zippers, Ziploc Zippers. bags, yeah, Ziploc bags, friends. Um, Artman, twenty nineteen. Felicia, do you know of a website where one can buy find lycra spandex? Well, I don't typically buy that online because that's one of those things that I physically have to like. I need the tangible fabric in front of me. Like if I'm trying to make something out of that fabric. It's usually because I need it to have a specific property, feel, color, style, and such, and I can't order that online. Like, I can put all the language down that I want. I want it to be four-way stretch, mm -hmm. double knit. I need it to have this color. And you still are gambling every time you order fabric online. Swatches right. are your friends. Takes time. But I typically go to the fabric store. But again, if you really need something and you don't have it accessible, Michael Levine's has a website. Yeah. Their tangible store is gone but they have a great website and they are amazing at sourcing fabrics for like Southern California where it's really hard of the fashion industry. Like, mm -hmm. so try Michael Levine's, but I don't typically buy fabrics online personally. I know people who do right. and I, I totally respect and love that, but. And I think there are sites specific for swimwear and uh, uh, the, the Frobe Stretch Lycra fabrics. Yes. So. But again, that's one of those things that, like, yeah, I can tell you by touching, like that, and you know, like. No, yeah, I get it. I've, I've ordered raw materials from hardware stores to have it delivered, and what what you're doing 
is you're giving somebody who has no passion towards your project at all, giving them the power to pick the materials you're working with. So I ended up with a bunch of warped wood that, well, it fit the bill. The, the thing said two by four, that's a two by four. It's like, yeah, but it's a two by four for the bow of a boat. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why when I order groceries for like sets, when that we too. were doing, uh, like I've styled food sets and stuff like that. So we need to put in a grocery order and just do it online because it's easier. You could do it, go pick it up and pick it. I can't do it with produce. No. I have found every time that I order produce, they give you this what's ever going to like go bad soonest because yeah. you're not there to pick it out yourself. Right. Yeah, exactly. And they're just going to grab whatever's, you know, yeah. this is done next, this is done next. They're not worried about it. And I'm not saying that's bad because that's, that's uh, yeah. you and know. Honestly, like, they're, they're trying to match shades of red. Like, fabric There's store. Like, you go in and I need a red fabric, but there's a million different shades of red. There's the bluey red. There's the red red. There's the bright red. There's the, you know what I mean? Like, there's a million different shades of red, and they all feel different, and you know what you're looking for when you walk in. Like, I need the Star Trek red. Right. I need this red. You know, like... Mm-hmm. And, and if you're doing something that's going to be in production, you're going to need a red that's going to reflect the same red to the camera once it's lit. Mm -hmm. Right. So many factors in buying fabric that I just have not ever purchased it online yet. Yet. Not yep. saying I'm not above it or opposed to it. I just haven't... She dropped one! <laughs> I lost it. I will get it. I got it. Okay. Now Toby and Bruno to chew it up today. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, people only drop stuff that's yummy, so. Right. <laughs> we don't do anything that isn't yummy. <laughs> These are the forbidden snacks. I don't know, like, yeah, I feel like dogs love chew toys. <laughs> this is totally dog chew toy. Oh, totally, yeah. Totally. A little cat toy, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. First couch gamer wants to know, I take it you can't stack and cut? No. I mean, I might be able to do two, but uh, the, the bottom one will start moving because the edges of the, of the tool is grabbing the foam, even if only one side is, and I've got these spacers on the other side, and that's holding it steady while the blade's cutting. Um, if I don't do that, it's just gonna spin. That's partly why one of the earlier ones when I was trying to use smaller pieces that were taped down, it um, they were, moving underneath the knife and it changed the diameter of the circle so there's your answer no you cannot do not them really, but no. you at least are going to get the re the same size they're yeah just, these are the right size those are the wrong size i'm okay. going to put these over here so they're sure we don't like those ones we don't talk about those ones <laughs> now typically i'm going to talk about those ones those don't exist nobody saw us do that um usually i count where i'm at but i haven't been well <laughs> we needed 14 total and we are one two three four five one two three four five ten one two three four five fifteen one, two, three. yes i do stacks of fives that's fine so 19. something like that ish so we're at 19 and we need 14. yeah we're good i will stop <laughs> have a night yes But yeah, there are a lot of circles in this project. Yeah. Because we only got through maybe half the circle for templates. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Davis, cerulean blue, midnight blue, summer sky blue, so many choices. Yep. Oh my gosh, as a paint, like trying to pick the exact same right shades for sets, you know? Yep. <laughs> yes, I need yes. light red. What is light red? Is no, it is not pink. Right. What is light red? What does that mean? <laughs> oh my gosh. I was very specific on this one shade of blue. I needed a very specific shade of blue. Finding like the paint samples and stuff like that. And you change the, um, the mat uh -huh. or the thing completely changes your color. It's almost so. like, um, a company made up a color chart the Pantone color chart so you can say which color you want <laughs> oh yeah but at the same time uh-huh <laughs> the person on the other end has to know what the color chart is yeah no no also 
um, sometimes when you present somebody, this is the color you told. Oh. Like, I had to do a whole set that needed to be gray. Right. Completely gray, and then it was going to be turned black. But the shade of gray, I was told, was given, like, a specific Pantone to match the suits. But then it was like, no, that's way too dark. This is what you told me. Yeah. <laughs> I tried, like, I'm matching grays. Anyways, but yes, so, like... <laughs> Right? <laughs> there's there's colors that are this small and there's colors that are this, this small. And it changes. Like, yes, it's one of those things. Like, uh huh. <laughs> it's an experience. Color's an experience. Um, let's see. What are people saying? Because we are pretty much done for today. We got, We're pretty much done for today. Oh. We got all those cut out today. And these are all usable, right? Yes. These okay. are all the ones we're done. So we got this is this one. Okay. These are this one. Okay. And, and then there's this guy here. No, yeah, this one happened. Oh my gosh, if you had just cut out some more of these ones, it's the same size as that one. <laughs> cut one from two millimeter foam and cut two from six millimeter foam. Okay. You may actually have cut a few extras. Uh, enough for might. the four. We might, and that might be the, one, of, one of the die cut things. So. Yeah. We'll find <laughs> lots out. Cuts of circles. Cuts of circles. Where are your, do you have little plastic baggies we can put these in? I got, I think, uh, no, I think I'm out. So. Let's not lose our pieces. Okay. I've got some bags upstairs. I've got some gallons of block bags upstairs. I'll go get those. Okay. In a moment. First, we get to say, I want to thank you all for tuning in and, and spending your afternoon with us. Uh, I want to especially thank all of you who stuck it through the entire time that we've been doing this. So, and I know a couple of you have. Yeah. And I want to say thank you to any of you who in the future have watched or listened to this entire thing. I appreciate that. Yes, thank you, future people. Yes, thank, thank you, current you people. people. Thank Welcome, you. everybody. Thank you, present people. Yes. Welcome, everybody. So we are going to be back uh, this exact same time next week. We will start early for our patrons at about 11.15ish. Uh, and then at noon, we'll kick the stream over to being public for everyone. And that's for anyone who's actually watching live and want to interact with us live. The yeah. entire stream will be available uh, you know, for all of you in the future who watch it after the fact. So we're still getting all the pieces cut out. We're doing all the nitty gritty, busy work that's involved in making the project. We're not hiding any of it from you. We're not working nope. on this outside of the designated. <laughs> right. So one of the reasons why this craft project is going to take a really long time to do is we, the two of us are only spending about two and a half hours a week working on it. Yeah, just yeah. a chunk of time. It takes time. It takes time. And then, you know, we're, we're talking and, 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 and enjoying ourselves while we're doing it. So that's going to make it take a little longer, too. We're not nose to the grindstone just trying to crank it out. Yeah. But what's nice is we are using an existing pattern. So we can kind of just yes. go through the motions at first before we have to really brain. But when we get to, it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm excited for yeah. all the bells and whistles and right. all the fun stuff. What is that? That sounded like there's something. I think it's something outside. I think someone's spraying a hose outside. Okay. I like that better than, like, a snake or something. <laughs> no, it's not a snake. <laughs> yeah, but anyways. So. It'd be a really big snake. Yeah. Which we could appreciate being worried about. Yeah. So thank you all very much. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, we're, I'm going to be back with a live stream on Friday playing Among Us uh, with Joe, who's always sus. Joe will be the... I'm so glad Joe's the host of that live stream because I get to just play the game. That's nice. That's really nice. So we'll, we'll be back for that. Uh, I'm going to have a new video on Wednesday. I'm going to go back to working on that here after lunch and get that finished so that can be out on time. And uh, the next con that I know I'm going to be at is going to be the, the weekend closest to Valentine's Day that isn't Valentine's Day. I think it's the 17th of February. I'm going to be at Rocket Con in San Diego. So that's a, uh, I think that's a two-day con, I think. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a Saturday-Sunday con. So that should be fun. Yeah, yeah. So not going to affect our schedule because we're on Mondays nope. now. So yep. thank you for joining us on Mondays. Yes, thank you for joining us. Actually, it might affect us because I'm driving back on Monday and San Diego is oh, a right. nine-hour drive. Oh, cool. Speaking of nine-hour so, drives. Well, maybe we will have a nice little break. <laughs> yeah, might have a little break on that one because <laughs> I'm driving. I'm not flying to that one. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, so we are ready for lunch. We are thank ready for, for lunch. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. See you again next week. Yeah, I will let you. Go over and click the button. Click all the buttons. Thank you for interacting with the people all day today. I appreciate that. Right? I numbered things today, but we got perfect circles. <laughs> <laughs> where's the where's the screen I want? It's this screen. Where's the screen? 
Yeah. Yes, ah, end stream. Nice. 